Hey, what's up? It's been a while since Breath of the Wild. It has been a while since Breath of the Wild. But, uh, the thing is, um, I was, I was about to start my Breath of the Wild, and I haven't actually used this switch in so long that the battery is dead. So I need to let it charge for a few minutes. So I figure, why has it been so long since Breath of the Wild? Uh, I just didn't feel like playing it. I, I was uninspired to play it. One sec, let me just start this up. I need to make sure this is the right switch. But yeah, the switch is, is completely dead. Please start. Is it gonna start? Thank God the notification was right this time. Yes, the notification was right this time. We are doing Breath of the Wild today. Now, yeah, I, I've been doing a lot of like modded stuff and yeah, just been been really ex like Super Mario Odyssey stuff was super cool. I was really into Minecraft and I don't know. I uh, this came up uh, basically. How do I say this? Um, we're gonna be doing my my very first any percent speed run today. I've never done an any percent speed run with the intention of doing any percent. You know, I've done other speed runs. I've done a hundred percent. I've done all shrines. I'll probably recap this in a few minutes as well. Uh, I've done that. Uh, the thing is, yeah, I've never done any percent. So we're doing my first any percent run today. Uh, unfortunately, my switch is dead, and so we need to let it charge for a few minutes. So. To offset it, my badness, we're going to watch the best Breath of the Wild run. Today, we are going to watch the best Breath of the Wild run. Uh, this is a BTT, which means the best theoretical time. What it is, is a spliced run of all of the best segments humans have ever done in Breath of the Wild. So a theoretically perfect run. It's not technically a task, because it's always humans playing it. Everything you see here, humans did. And it is very, very fast. Um, I haven't watched through it. So I actually, I, I think I have a good idea of what's going to happen. Um, uh, but I'll do my best to explain it as we go. Because you guys seem to like these videos. I'm gonna play Factorio in the future. I played it off stream. I played it off stream. What do you expect your first time to be? I'll I'll get into that once we uh once we actually move on and, and get into it because I think we might make my first run a YouTube video. Uh, but yeah, I've never done an any any percent Breath of the Wild speed run. I'll I'll reiterate and, and rephrase it for for the YouTube video later on after we're done reacting to this. But uh, oh wait, uh, did I do? I need to change the title of the stream. Right, right. One second. Um. Just give me a second. I need to make sure that the person gets credit for this. Uh, reacting to the perfect speed run. Uh, reacting done. Does the command work? Just to make sure they get credit. Is, did I not save the command? Submit. Let's try this one more time. Reacting. Hey, there we go. Yeah, we're watching that video. Good. Good. Yep. It works perfect. So if you want to watch this, these take an insane amount of work. So definitely uh, check them out. Um, but here we go. Perfect Breath of the Wild run. Go. The time for a Breath of the Wild run? Oh my god. Okay. They don't just have regular game. Okay. Is that is that too loud? They they did this in the in the Super Mario Odyssey BTT because the game splices so much, but I can't imagine you splice this so much. So I don't know why they're playing music over top of it. No, it's good. Okay. Run starts right when you get there. Get the Sheikah Slate, first thing. And you know, it takes far too long. It's too loud? It's too quiet. Alright, alright, let's see. Now that that's playing, is it loud? It's a little loud. Jeez, dude. Let's try that. Better? Better? That's better, perfect? Alright. So yeah, first thing you do, get the Sheikah Slate, and obviously in a normal playthrough of the game, you're gonna go through... You're gonna open those doors, you're gonna watch the intro cutscenes. That takes too long, they're gonna skip that. Um, 
So, you know, they do have to watch the initial cutscene to get the Sheikah Slate. It's kind of funny, though, that the first item in the game allows you to just... I mean, you'll see. You, you guys know. For those of you that don't, this is really cool. Yeah. They get the Sheikah Slate, they open it up, so they avoid that cutscene. They jump on the wall, and they use the Sheikah Slate to clip out of bounds. Basically, what it does is the Sheikah Slate instantly flips you around. If you're in the perfect spot at the perfect angle, it'll flip you around into the wall, and you'll fall right through. And, uh, yeah, now they're out of bounds and able to skip all those initial cutscenes. Also, something that's very nice, uh, because you're skipping the initial cutscene, the initial cutscene in the game is actually what turns on the weather and the time. So it's always daytime, it's always sunny. Also, they clip back in bounds. Something about this game uh, right here is walls are actually two ways. It makes sense logically, but in video games, that's not usually the case. But in this game, walls are actually have two-way collisions, so he has to clip back out. Uh, and you can see the runners are right there listed, whoever does each segment. Um, so he crouches and uncrouches to jam Link's head through the ceiling. Um, yeah, he's using whistle sprinting right now, which allows you to sprint at almost full speed, but regain stamina. And you're going to go probably go pick up a shield. Um, and I believe this is a new route. There used to be the old route in, in Breath of the Wild. Uh, you'd pick up a shield and you'd run right. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're going to pick up a shield and they're going to pick up something else, it looks like. And a torch, I guess. Pick up a shield and a torch and they're going to run down to the Temple of Time. Shield surfing obviously saves a little bit of time faster than running. Um, and here is the first kind of interesting trick. Thank you for all the bits and subs. Wait a minute, why is my uh, my stuff is a little bit misaligned right now? I can't see notifications. Thank you for the the subs, uh, Xenical Bushlink Scout, uh, Violet, uh, Stellar Moltres. Thank you so much. But anyways, <clears throat> yeah, I believe I think they're gonna yeah. Wait, what? Okay, so again, uh, I think in a normal speed, I've watched a normal any percent speed run. The, in the normal any percent speed run, they use the shield to clip through this wall because it's faster than walking all the way around. But here, they just use a Sheikah Slate again to flip Link around directly through the wall to pick up this bow on this side. And um, now that they have the bow, they need an arrow, which they get from the pot. So they can do a trick called a BLSS. Uh, but I like to call it... Um, uh, I, I usually call it Wiggle Bomb, but in this case, it's a Wiggle Pot. That's what this strat is, where they do a trick called a, uh, a Bow Lock Smuggle Slide to fly across the sky. Um, it, it Okay, so what's happening there? <laughs> and they're, they're at the first shrine. Uh, what they're happening, what, what's happening here is um, they're holding the pot but in one hand and the collision of the pot is pushing Link. So you can see Link faces away from the direction that he wants to go and he's kind of wiggling to get the pot to like rub against him to push him in that direction. So that's what's happening. That's why he's wiggling back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why Link is wiggling back and forth and uh, you can see that goes straight to the first shrine. Uh, the shrines don't open because he didn't hit the tower. So they have to clip into the shrine to get into it. Um, which, what they, to, to clip in here, they didn't use the, the Sheikah Slate anymore. They, uh, they s landed on the shield to get something called Skew, which makes Link flick. Uh, for like one frame. Uh, whenever you unequip or equip a shield, I believe. Or whenever you... Whenever you unequip a shield. So, they jump through, they unequip the shield, Link flicks through the door, and it was able to go straight in. Um, so that's, and I think they had to do that twice in a row for that, because there was actually two layers to that door. So they did two, uh, shield clips in a row. Now they're gonna get bombs where they can do another trick. Uh, this trick I call a Boomy Zoomy, for obvious reasons. I think the official name is a Wind Bomb. But, uh, I expect they'll Boomy Zoomy here. <sighs> Can you stop pausing, sir? No, I need to explain stuff. Watch the if you don't if you want to watch this without any commentary, go watch the actual video. I'm talking over it though. <clears throat> so yeah. Now they're gonna do a boomy zoomy where 
you can place here. I'm. Uh, that was really fast. I'll explain what just happened there, because now they're at the end of the shrine. I'll play it in slow motion for you guys to make it a little bit easier to understand. Uh, for all the views, the views that don't. Let's let's go 0 0.25 speed. Here we go. So, um, they do a shield hop. And this is to reset that little flick from the skew, because that actually, like, it messes with some things. They, they, they need to reset some of Link's things because the the boomy zoomy won't work so they do this to reset but right here they stand on this little pillar they jump off place one bomb uh go into bullet time and then they place another bomb and then they ignite the first bomb which launches the square bomb into link's back launching him and uh they get a really precise angle here which gets them directly to the end of the shrine Uh, why are there two timers? I believe the smaller timer is the time for this segment, and the big timer is the time for the total run. Uh, and yeah, it, things colliding into Link that are small like that only take half a heart, even if they're moving at, like, hypersonic speeds. So, you can do that wherever you want for half a heart. It's really, really powerful with the paraglider. Something right here that you might not notice, he can skip the cutscene right now. Right now he can skip the cutscene, but he waits, he waits, 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 now. And then skips the cutscene. The reason for that is if you if you actually skip the cutscene right away, um, the the overworld is started to load. And if you skip that cutscene immediately, the the overworld will just reset its loading and load everything again, wasting like seven seconds of loads. So if you just wait, it'll load the overworld enough to get to a point, and you skip the cutscene, and it'll just continue loading instead of resetting the load. So by waiting there. You actually save time. I think it's three seconds, which is ridiculous. Uh, but now they have bombs, and uh, they can both boomy zoomy to go places, but now they can wiggle bomb. Do the same thing with the pot, but with a bomb literally anywhere they want. So they will probably be doing that to go to their next area. Um, and yeah, boomy zoomies aren't too bad. You know, anybody could probably, with, uh, with a good tutorial, could learn them in, you know, an hour or so. I think uh, before tutorials were a thing, I think it took me like two hours to just figure it out. But with the tutorial, yeah, you can figure this stuff out. Um, but anyways, yeah, places a bomb, does the bow lock smuggle slide, grabs the bomb, and just wiggles over to the next shrine. <laughs> so good. And yeah, they're looking up right now because the game, you see the game freezes. They're actually moving so fast, the game needs to freeze to make sure everything loads in time. But yeah, they're going really quick here. They get this, they uh, they land the shield onto a slope so Link can do the little flick because it stores Link's angle when they land on the shield for like, and when he unequips it, he has it for that frame. And you can actually see it if we pause it at the right time. You can see Link tilt back, right? Let's see if I can get the frame. Oh, you, yeah, we just missed the frame. Let's, let's go back a little bit more. Let's play it in, let's play it in 0.25 speed and try and see that exact frame. They patch it? No, this is the most recent version of Breath of the Wild, by the way. Oh my god, the audio is awful, but I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll just mute this later. But yeah, right here, they... See that right there? Link tilts back, and then he'll tilt back forwards to correct it. So he's through one wall. He has to go through two, so he has to do, do it twice. And so he does it a second time, and then he's through the second wall. Because there's technically two walls to go through that door, so you have to do it twice in a row. It's awful. Really, really difficult. That's a, um... But anyways, that audio is messy. Uh, but yeah, now they have bombs, and they're gonna do a bunch of shrine skips. And it's insane reaction speeds. It's, uh, it's just a lot of muscle memory. It's just, they, they've done this, they've grinded it out. And these are, like, perfect clips. So these specific clips they've probably grinded out and... I practiced a ton. But yeah, now they're going to get stasis. Uh, stasis, I think they will... Th they'll probably use it during the run. Uh, at least once or twice. Because stasis is still a really useful rune. Um, there's some other launches you can do. Can you get stuck on a door? You can get stuck in the door, yeah. <laughs> uh, the game is in French because the small amount of dialogue that is in the game is the fastest in French. Uh, I believe French and German are about the same speeds. But, okay... That's real. I've never seen that before. What they do is they get skew with the shield to save that little angle. 
on the platform there, and then they use it and just clip through that wall. And then they do another boomy zoomy to get to the end. And the thing is, the start of a boomy zoomy, you can see it, I guess it took one full heart, that boomy zoomy. When they land, they could still take a regular amount of damage. So this is so precisely aimed so they land right on the platform and not on the pillar and then fall down. Because if they fall down, they die. So they land directly on the end platform, they take a very minimal amount of damage, and they're able to finish. Super quick. And that's two shrines done, in six minutes. <clears throat> Does this guy ever attack anything? A few things in, in, the, in the castle. Use that and that for slow. Doesn't do anything. Okay, so this is interesting. They immediately... Okay, they boomy zoomy over this way. Why? I, I don't know what they're doing here. So they're going to use an amiibo to get... Um... A fish... Um, I think, so, the reason why they got that fish is they need to cook attack up food for the boss fights at the end of the game, so they're doing that while they're waiting for the Bokoblins. But apparently, they're gonna... They're, they're gonna do a bullet time bounce off of the Bokoblin directly to the next shrine. Oh my god. I've never seen this. Uh, which is another launch. Okay, I need to explain how insane this is. Um, so, first off, um, the way a BTB works is you go into bullet time by pulling out your bow, and if you land on your shield on an enemy, you get lo the, the game miscalculates your bounce speed, because it slows you down, the game slows you down by like 12x, right? Um, and basically what happens is when the game undoes the bullet time, it miscalculates it and multiplies your speed by 12, I believe. I think it, it might even be higher than that. I can't remember. But this is so precise because depending on which specific polygon you land on in the enemy, it will change your direction an insane amount because you're moving so, so fast. So, they get a, they, they set up the Bokoblin, so they land on a very specific polygon on his shoulder to go all the way over there. When the shield hits the floor, they frame perfectly press Y to bounce, rather than take fall damage. And then... They do a, a fall damage cancel, and they've got here so fast, the door hasn't even been able to load yet, so they don't have to clip in. They can just walk straight into this. Getting an unloaded shrine door like that is crazy. And, uh, oh, this is stasis. The other one was magnesis, sorry. This is stasis, and they may use stasis? I'm not sure. Seems a bit faster than your PB. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, insane. Why don't they skip runes? So, obviously, with all of these glitches... Yeah, why don't you just skip the runes and go straight to the castle? Uh, there is a wall of fog around the Great Plateau, and it is inescapable. Pr basically, no matter what you do, the wall of fog will always pull you back to the plateau. And that was... Cr and they just... I, I was talking over it. But they just did a really precise boomy zoomy directly to the end. But yeah, the fog will just kill you, basically. Uh, and the only way to get rid of that fog is to get the paraglider. And the only way to get the paraglider uh, is to get all the runes. So they have to get all the runes. Um, and so they are. They have three runes. They have one more. Um, and there we go. Someone corrected me in chat. The bullet time increases the physics by 20x. 20 times. So instead of going like a little bounce, you go 20 times that little bounce, which apparently is very fast. Um, and yeah, now they do another boomy zoomy to go directly up here. 
Um, and what are they gonna do from here? Maybe... Is this another BTB? Looks like they do a BTB without a setup. They just jump onto this and hit the exact polygon. They didn't eat, they just jumped. Okay. Absol- and- wait, is that unloaded again? No, okay. <laughs> and they get the exact skew they need, and they just clip through again. Uh, so difficult. And they're getting the last Cryonis, or the last rune, Cryonis, in under 10 minutes. I thought you only needed spirit orbs to get the paraglider. Yes, but the runes are the, the things on the plateau are the fastest way. Why is it German inside the sanctuary, but French everywhere else? It's a spliced run, uh, and that doesn't affect the the run at all in that section. Yeah, the language between clips doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. They they've done a pretty good job. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, I've never seen that one before. Okay, they do another Boomizumi just to go straight to the end of the shrine without using Cryonis. <laughs> I love how they they get bombs and then that's all I need. I don't need my Magnesis, Stasis, or Cryonis to do any other shrines. I'm just gonna use the bombs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Cryonis under 10 minutes. Ridiculous. And now, as, as you can see on the splits, they get the paraglider, and then they just go to the castle. <laughs> hmm. What are they doing? Oh. I have to wait for the old man. Okay. Yeah, I guess since they have all the runes, this is, this is one that the old man visits you at. You can change the video speed. It doesn't do anything! You can advance frames. You can't change video speed. Anyways. Oh! So after that conversation's done, they just... They just jump all the way. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, right here is actually another trick that I haven't really shown you guys yet, but obviously from this height, Link is going to die when he lands on the the, the Temple of Time. Uh, but he picked up a torch at the very start of the run specifically for this. You can see it right here. He unequips the shield to stop the momentum and just falls, starts throwing the torch. And the thing is, if you throw an item but then interrupt it by either unequipping it or equipping something else... You don't take any fall damage. Basically, your fall is reset from wherever you started throwing it from, or whenever you switched, uh, whenever you switched equips. So, you see he throws the torch right here. The game is like, oh, he's falling from here. So, from like, you know, four feet. Basically, no distance at all. And now he has a paraglider in, uh, like 11 minutes. And yeah, they don't need the torch. They picked up the torch specifically just so they don't take fall damage. There's a paraglider. Yeah, fall damage cancel is one of the easiest glitches to do, especially with two-handed weapons. Two-handed weapons take a really long throw animation. Uh, so yeah, now they, uh, they go to the castle. And, uh, it looks like instead of doing a Wiggle Bomb, they're going to do a BTB. BTB is slightly faster, uh, but this BTB here, uh, it, it used to be done in speedruns. It's not done anymore because it's just not consistent enough because it is frame perfect. You have to land on the BT- you have to land on this Bokoblin on that exact frame for you to go to the castle at an optimal angle. Uh, so that- that was a frame perfect trick. Um, and yeah, now they just fly straight to the castle with the paraglider because they do have it. It causes Link to ground himself. Yeah, there you go. And I mean, they're just, they're just flying to the castle. 
Yeah, 12 and a half minutes in. They're in Hyrule Cat. They're in Hyrule Castle so fast, stuff hasn't even loaded in yet. They're, they need to pick up weapons here, but they don't even exist. <laughs> okay, and they're standing behind this, um... Oh, here's where I got the 12x from. There's the cutscene for the castle finally loading in. But they picked up that sword, right? And what what's gonna happen here is... Wait for it. They hit that moblin from behind... Uh, doing a sneak strike like that deals 12 times the regular damage, allowing them to one-hit KO this mob, uh, this moblin, and they can pick up the Royal Guard Sword. And now they're boomy zooming to get out of this room. They got two really, really strong weapons. Uh, I think they need a few more, so... Yeah, gonna open this up. Ancient Arrows, I believe, in this chest. Right? Three Ancient Arrows. Very, very good. Uh, strongest arrows in the game. They're gonna throw a bomb to distract this Lizalfos so they can sneak strike it to kill it in one hit. Lizalfos are dumb. And now they're gonna cook the attack up food that I was talking about earlier. Um, that, that will be attack up food, I think. Or maybe that's regular food? I don't know. What just happened there? What? Okay, they stand on the wall and I guess they do a, a scope clip where they use the Sheikah Slate to turn Link into the wall. And, oh, it's 8x, sorry. I'm dumb, it's actually 8x. I'll, I'll correct that in my, in, in, in a thing. But yeah, they land there, they scope flip to go out of bounds, and then they do a mid-air boomy zoomy, which is, the timing on that is so tight. To land into another section? No, they don't even go in bounds yet. They just do another one. And then they clip back in bounds. Okay, they distract another moblin to get another really strong sword. They use the Magnesis to get this bow, the Royal Guard's bow, and then the, um, uh, whatever that sword is. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, what are they doing now? What are they? I think they're just going to, okay, right there. No, the, the fish that they did cook, that was an attack up fish. It might not have looked like it, but yeah, they eat an attack up fish here because they're about to go fight the Blights. And they boomy zoomy almost directly into the fight. And they walk into it. And now the cutscenes start for Wind Blight. Wind Blight comes out. And watch the head on Wind Blight. You see how it's flicking a little bit like that? Wait for it. Wind Blight's dead. Now they're on a Water Blight. What happened there is they walked into this, they walked in here, right? They shot an arrow and they walked in. The arrow freezes in mid-air. And during the cutscene, that arrow is just sitting there. And the head just keeps hitting it. <laughs> and it kills the boss during the cutscene. The arrow, they froze the arrow just at the exact moment. Um, so, crazy. And now they're actually going to fight it. Um, and they, they do have... Uh, if they get hit once, they're dead. So, uh, yeah. But I believe there's consistent strats for basically every boss. So this should be just really aggressive fighting. Does the fall damage cancel work with a best sword throw attack? I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't think they're gonna get hit once. Uh, if you shoot w uh, Water Blight twice with an arrow, it falls down, so I expect there's a good chance they do that. Or... I guess they don't. That's interesting. It's a different stat. Okay, they wait a little bit. I guess they threw- they deliberately don't shoot it to kill it in one cycle without getting up again. That's really interesting. Yeah, two headshots. Uh, with this one, when you do a slam attack, it makes the boss lean over. And if you do another slam attack, the boss just falls on the floor. But the boss didn't even get the chance to do that. <laughs> because... He's already at half health and going to the second phase. Uh, this phase, you just have to wait for him to suck up a bomb. So they'll probably just drop a bomb here. And uh, wait for him to suck it up so we can explode it. 
Yep. And yeah. Just swinging like crazy. And yeah, they're doing this whole thing with like four weapons. Three swords, a boomerang, or five weapons. Three swords, a boomerang, and a, and a bow. Uh, this is probably... Thunderblight is what... One boss that people probably consider to be the most difficult boss in the game. I know I had the most trouble with this in my casual playthroughs. But yeah, two, so two swings from the big sword. Stuns it. Swings. Slams to knock it on the floor. Swing again. One shot with the, uh, with the boomerang. Onto the second phase. <laughs> yeah. And of course... You know, there is the lightning. But, um, instead, if you just chuck a boomerang at it, it breaks the shield so you can shoot its head. It falls down to the floor. You don't even need to deal with that lightning crap. You just beat it while it's stunned. And done. You just throw the boomerang, break the shield, spin to win. And now you're on to the final boss. Or the kind of the final boss. At least the hard part of the final boss. What was that bomb for? I don't know what that bomb was for. Can, wait, I've never seen that. Why... Why did they hold this bomb? <laughs> they hold a bomb. It's a faster rush. Okay, apparently picking up the bomb shortens or holding the bomb shortens the flurry rash animation Which allows you to get more hits in or the same amount of hits but faster. Oh My god, it makes them hit the ground faster. So it activates the flurry rush faster That is crazy Puffball, thanks for the four months Yeah, I've never I've never even heard of that before the, I mean, obviously the rest of this fight's gonna be perfect. They parry all of the lasers. They spin whenever it falls over. They shoot it directly in the forehead whenever they get the chance. And that's phase two. Uh, phase two has a really cool strat. Phase two is actually easier than phase one. Uh, all you need to do is parry a single laser so they get as close as they can. Um, and what they're gonna do now is they're gonna spin and if you do a slam attack at the moment that the leg lifts up, so right, you'll see the, the leg lift up right there and they do the slam attack, it actually just resets and it falls down again. So you can just do that forever. So wait till leg lifts up and then slam. And then you could do it again. <laughs> the leg lifts up right there and slam. And yeah, and it basically is just a stun lock to kill the, the boss. Uh, it is difficult. Uh, I know some people use a spear as a Q, yeah. Some people use the spear where... Basically, I think when the spear hits the ground, they probably start the slam. But yeah, now they're on to, uh... The final... The... Whatever... What is, what is this one called again? Ganon? I can't even remember what this boss is called, but they pick up the bow. And yeah, that stun lock doesn't work in master mode. I don't know why. When the spear goes under the floor on reaction. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Dark Beast Ganon. So yeah, Dark Beast Ganon is, is just an auto-scroller, so... <laughs> they just <laughs> sit here and spin. Oh, that's so good. Yep, and it's just waiting. That's all this is. You know, you can get to an optimal position so you can shoot it whenever the little symbols pop up. But for the end, you just wait. And so, yeah, they do it as fast as they can. Just jumping around. Nintendo patched it in Master Mode, but decided to keep it in casual for speedrunners. Cool. Do you know why he spins? Because there's nothing else to do. I didn't realize Nintendo actually patched it in Master Mode. It's interesting. There's specific code that prevents it. Interesting. 
So yeah, they know where these symbols are going to be, and so they just aim at them beforehand to just snip them one, a one after another. Get snipped. Uh, and now the best shot in the game. Let's see if he gets a good one. They shot the uh, the right side, shot the left side. Now they're going to shoot the underside. They're going to hit him in the junk. The crotch shot. And... Wait for the laser. And just frame one. Wow. And then for the last shot, you have to be in bullet time to, uh... Oh, okay. For this last shot, you have to be in bullet time, so, um... They will be jumping off the horse at the earliest opportunity to shoot it. And that's time. 21 minutes, 20 seconds. The fastest time that is theoretically possible in Breath of the Wild currently. They saved a minute and 23 seconds. This is version 2. They saved a minute 23 from the version 1. Version 1 didn't have wiggle bombs or wiggle strats. BLSSs. But yeah, here. Oh, let's watch the credits. Here we go. Zeref had 21 segments. Yeah, you gotta get the credits in. Onyx Ebony. Seven segments. Player 5. Player 5, I think, is the current world record of, like, the actual run. Sir, Sir Tapir? Sir, Sir Dapper? But insane. So much time people put into these runs. Pico with the four segments. Power Gamer Kai. This feels like it doesn't have a ton of segmentation because all of them are just, you have to play so much. Sir Tapir? Ah, there you go. I like how this person just has the fastest walk to the <laughs> walk to the thing. It's good. Yeah, this is a much shorter speedrun, exactly. So yeah, that is the uh, Breath of the Wild BTT. Yeah, run spliced. They cheated. Not a valid speedrun. Man, the boomy zoomies inside of shrines are so cool. Oh, Kamali in Pooperger editing. Nice. Pico created it. Smitch premiered it on their channel. This is that uh, was a, a while back. But yeah, always just break Breath of the Wild speedrunners. It's crazy. Yes. All right. Wait, where is this one? Boom. All right. So now that we have that done, that out of the way, um. I am going to sh hope my switch starts. I am going to do one of those runs today. Now I, I have to preface this. I want to I want to tell you guys something. Okay. Let, let me let me start up the game before I start talking. All right. Looks like my switch has started up. Let me let me put on my Joy Cons in here. Because I have an important thing to talk about. Uh, we will beat that run today, of course. Um, uh, I am just that good. You know, I watched something once. I saw where they were making mistakes. We could do that faster. Speedruns. <clears throat> Alright. Looks like the game... Is starting up. So. So. I can plug this in. I probably have, I don't know, a thousand, two thousand hours in Breath of the Wild. Uh, I have speedrun Breath of the Wild. I've done all shrines. I was, I think, top five in the world for that, all 120 shrines. Uh, I was the fifth person to ever do a Breath of the Wild 100% speedrun. But, I have never done a Breath of the Wild any percent speedrun. I have never beat Breath of the Wild just 
with the intention of only beating Breath of the Wild. Uh, because it's a really punishing run. This is the type of run that you need an insane amount of practice to get good at. Like, the people that are really good at this category are way, way better than, like, the... To get a good time in this category, you need to be incredibly disciplined. Uh, and if you make any mistakes in this run, it just ends the run. I have not practiced this at all. And uh, this is different because quite often when I do speedruns, um, I've practiced a lot. Like, you guys know I do Minecraft speedrunning. You know, I have a 15-minute time, and uh, I got that... I think I got that one off-stream. Um, um, can you share your game time on the Switch? No, uh, I have it on... I mostly played on a profile that is uh, not... Uh, that doesn't have a Nintendo account linked to it. <clears throat> um, what was I going to say? Right. Uh, I... When I do speedruns, I never practice on stream because I just don't think it's that good of content. Um, it's not the kind of stuff I want to watch. Uh, but, so I haven't done it on stream. Uh, the amount of practice I do off stream is a, probably a lot more than you guys expect. Uh, if I'm doing runs on stream, for every hour of runs I do on stream, I've probably done 10 hours of practice off stream. And that is going to be very apparent today. Um, I have never done a Breath of the Wild speedrun, and, or I've never done a Breath of the Wild any percent speedrun, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I haven't practiced something. I'm going to start a timer, and I'm going to do it as quickly as I can, without any practice. Um... I am not going to get a good time today. I am not going to get a competitive time today. I'm not going to get top 100. I'm not going to get top 200. But I am going to finish a run. Do I know the route? Um, no, not exactly. Is the world record route about right? Like, is that pretty much all you need? Wait, don't you need a an amiibo for... Yeah, I might, I might do an amiibo run, actually. No way you've done 100%, but not any percent? Yeah, which amiibo do you need? I have completely forgot about amiibos. I have all the amiibos, but which one do you need? I'm going to do the amiibo route, because it's just more consistent. <clears throat> Top 200 is 38, 21. I'm not going to get that. World record does a clip attempt at the time. Yeah, I can do that. That's not too bad. Toon Link? Okay, let me see if I can find the Toon Link amiibo. I have, like, the full booklet of amiibo cards. I just don't... I need to find where that booklet is. Did I fall behind my desk, maybe? I'm not sure. Top 300 is an hour? I probably won't get that. I'm gonna be honest. This run is... You, you guys will see. It'll be very obvious that I have not practiced. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you think I'm some god gamer that has some, like, natural talent for video games. I don't. And you, and that'll be apparent. All of the stuff you see on stream is from practicing just an insane amount. Okay, I'm not sure which one of these cards is Toon Link, so we'll just try a few of them. You know, I'll be better than someone who has never done any speedrunning before, but... Yeah, you'll, you'll see. Okay, I think I'm just grabbing all of the ones that kind of look like Toon Link. These are like off-brand amiibo cards, so they're not actually like Link. It's just like generic characters that kind of look like Link. What about Mifa? That one will be easier to find. Does Mifa give attack potions? 
We need attack fish. That's what we need. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to open up uh, player 5 world record. Uh, player 5 has the any percent world record videos. Most recent any percent amiibo world record. World record any percent. Here we go. I was gonna skim through really quick. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, boom, we zoom there. Or wiggle bum there. Do that there, do that there, do that there. Okay, that's weird. Alright, okay. I've watched this a while back. Okay, I remember. Alright. <clears throat> How do you reckon Temple of Time clip will go for him? I don't know. Player 5's vid of sub 25 easy strats would be better to start out on this route. Sub-25 easy strats. Should we watch a video on how to do it first? Is it just how to beat Breath of the Wild in 25 minutes by player 5? Should we should we watch it real quick? Yeah, you know what? I, I think I need to learn just in case. We'll skim through it. I'll play it at 2x speed. <clears throat> Let's see. How long is the video? Video is 27 minutes. I thought you were teaching me how to do it in 25. Here we go, here we go. Uh... Okay, let's hope this shows the right screen. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Here. Let's... I'm just gonna play this at 2x speed. I'll be going over how to speed the wild. There have been a lot of changes to the 80% route recently. Okay. So I'm hoping... We'll get category. A lot of renders It's the for the... answer I know. Here. I know how to do this clip. This spot is marked by. You want all the bogos to notice your whistling as soon as possible, so their movement pattern is consistent and allows you to grab the shield and spear. Okay. When you're starting out, pick up the peppers for backup food. Skipping backup food only saves around two seconds. It should only be done when you're confident you won't get them later. Okay. Pick up the backup food. You want to do a neutral shield jump and unequip shield. We'll be after clipping. We have the first BLSS on the run. After grabbing the bow and arrow. Okay, you fall there. You do a neutral shield jump and unequip shield. Clip we'll through. You from the temple of time, and this makes the next clip a lot more lenient. Lo okay. Good. Picks up that. You want to bow aim towards the corner at a slight angle, and then jump towards it, pulling your thumb from X to B to start the slide. X to B, got it. For maximum acceleration. You jump and do that. You want to bow aim towards the corner at a slight angle, and then jump towards... We're learning, we're learning. Start pulling your thumb from X to B to start the slide. For maximum acceleration, focus on getting a consistent wiggle, while making sure to flick straight across through neutral. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's basically just being able to build speed quickly with the camera turned in the direction. They picked up the spear, which isn't the torch. Maybe that's easier. Go, it's really important that you practice building speed first. Okay. Cancel the LSS and do a full damage cancel. Bomb speed quickly with the camera turned in the direction you want to go. Okay. It's really important that you practice building speed first. Go through there. Cancel the LSS and do a full damage cancel. Bomb scope is very lenient, so just make sure your angle is in position. FOV line slightly left of the yellow dot. Okay. Sounds good. The elevator clip requires an instant shield jump, so make sure you're doing that. Okay, I can do that. Inside bombs, you can do a wind bomb to a BLSS. That I know how to do this one. Dropping down and blowing up the rock. Because of how precise it is. Five yeah. seconds per shrine. I know how to do this really one. That you continue runs, since it's very easy to get stuck resetting here over trivial mistakes. Five seconds per shrine. Okay. There isn't much else to make your setups faster. On when you can press another. Do a shield jump on my way to the wall. This is to clear the temple of time skew as we'll be setting skew again on Magnesia Shrine. Okay, so you have to shield jump. Do you have to land on the shield? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta see this. This is your first stream? Welcome. Another thing to note. That I do a shield jump on my way to the wall. This is to clear the temple of time skew as we'll be setting skew again on Magnesia They do a wiggle bomb here to get to the next one. Okay. Elevator clip can be especially finicky if you're trying to go fast. But if you take your time and position link properly, it's a pretty good This one is pretty reliable. I know how to do this one. Or, I haven't in a while. This is a super small optimization. However, for your running, good lines can save you seconds throughout the run. Uh, they don't do a boomy zoomy here. The shield pretty early so that you don't lose skew. Then before you interact with the monk, pull yourself up to clear. Okay, shield. it says unequip it early so you don't lose skew. So you have to after bombs, you have to unequip it late. I'll see. Make sure you have full hearts when you do this, otherwise you will die so that you don't lose skew. Okay. Then before you interact with the monk, pull yourself up to clear glitch. Greg, I'll see. Make sure you have full hearts when you do this, otherwise you will die. Okay. So you have to, to bomb yourself. You will get the heart refill from completing the shrine. I won't go over what glitch. Greg, I'll see. Is here. You have to bomb yourself to reset your state. Okay. If you don't have enough speed, you won't be able to slide all the way up. But if you're good at building speed and you take care when setting up links angle at the start of the slide, it's not so bad. Once you've managed to slide up the hill, you still okay. have to navigate the trees without hitting anything. My advice is to steer link to avoid obstacles and worry less about building speed. The more practice, you'll be able to also build speed here, but it's more important that you don't hit anything. That's when fine. You, up to stasis, uh, you can just press X to jump once you're at the top of the tree without touching a blast stick. For this wind bomb, you need to get max height, so wait one quarter stamina before placing the square bomb and then detonate circle immediately. One quarter square, then circle. 
Also look up your oh, touching glass stick. For this move bomb, you need to get max height. So wait one quarter stamina before placing the square bomb and then detonate circle immediately. That one will take so a few tries. They don't need to get skew wait. Stasis for this move bomb, you need to get max height. So wait one quarter stamina before placing the square bomb and then Where did, did they to jump more practice? So we'll be able to also build speed here. How did they clip through there? They didn't have skew. This uh square bomb and then detonate circle immediately. Also look up or down to avoid lag. Stasis clip with max skew. Oh no, it was so they don't didn't get rid of skew. Never mind. It's also lenient, so just play around with the keys a bit. For positioning an angle, I'm basing it off of the setup that Limcube goes over in any percent tutorials. If you want a more precise explanation. Okay, Limcube, got it. Inside of Stasis, there are a couple of options, but you're able to mostly just run through the shrine. I'm probably just gonna run through it. I'm not gonna do the wind bomb. The fastest consistent one saves around 10 seconds, so it's not crucial. Oh, it saves there 10 is seconds. Also going on and start with the R or Y after using Stasis. Yeah, you can boomy zoomy to the end of this shrine, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. We'll probably just stick with this strat. Risk is a big factor, and why I recommend not going for certain wind bombs and shrines when you don't have to. Yeah, we just need to get through it. For boulder ride, you can do a range from seven to ten hits. But if you do ten hits, you'll need to do a whole damage cancel. Okay, seven to the ten. Process, make sure to throw the square bomb fairly precisely, so that you're able to both move the boulder out of the way and knock the tree over at the same time. So you get to step up on the tree stump, walk towards it from the right side, since the snow actually makes it lower on the right okay, side. Okay, and then wiggle bomb over. Process, you That's cool. If you end up building up enough speed, you'll actually reset the cold timer, giving yourself ample time to get the clip into the shrine without having to use your normal clip. Go watch the peppers; those will help a lot here when you're first starting out. And we picked up our I peppers as well. ESC until you've actually understood without having to eat. Yeah, I'm not going to do the, the ESC peppers, because it, it's like understand. only a second faster or something. I don't recommend going. Land on that little, this little triangle shape right here. Until you actually understood the cues for normal clip. Go watch songs tutorial because it's great. I, 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 I still kind of remember the setup a little bit. ESC, it's because you aren't using the proper cues for normal clip. Start to the end. Land closer to the monk. Uh, this one. On Cryonis. Since you're trying to set skew and you already have it, will not work. Oh. Okay. They do. There's skews that I could set skew on Cryonis. Since you're trying to set skew and you already have it, will not work. Go over to Cryo. Okay. I need to see if this setup is different than what I use. Since you're trying to set skew and you already have it. Okay. That's about what I use. Looks right. And they go straight to the end. That's a cool little skip. This plateau route is actually really simple. After mashing through the old man's dialogue, take a step back before setting up the BLSS so the bomb doesn't roll forwards. Okay, take a step back. Start the slide from to the one I do gets a pretty good initial angle consistently. Just make sure to nudge link right up against the rock and aim almost perpendicular to it. Hold ZL. I don't know what rock you're talking about. Jump towards the rock. This should start the slide and should give some speed towards the temple of time. That rock, okay. Just slide over until you are over the roof and do a full damage cancel to land. I recommend pointing the camera down to make it easier to gauge when you're actually over the roof. I throw the spear here because we need to get rid of it before picking up the weapons in the castle to skip the throwing weapons tutorial later. However, you just need to throw it before. Okay, so you make sure you throw it fully. In 46, which is the start off castle, will be scanned. So just scan until you have enough fish to add up to at least five points before setting up the slide to castle. Okay. You also want to pick up hyrule bass as they can serve as pillars at times here. Tack up meal and be used as backup food. Backup food. And carp this lame. Is any percent because it's long enough that you really have to worry about running into the speed cap. If you build up too much speed, link will suddenly stop. So you need to make sure to stop wiggling periodically to avoid going too fast. Don't go to too speed cap, like looking at the mini map and seeing how far center link is, or looking at the bomb strobing effect. Don't go to don't go too fast. Okay. If the strobing effect looks like it has stopped moving, it means you're pretty close to the cap. Just steer towards the gate and you'll be fine. Uh, this gate can be loaded or unloaded. I'll be linking the backups for loaded gate, but we'll not be showing it during this run. Okay. So you want to go through the loaded the gate. When you enter, uh, I think you might be able to. Things yeah. like won't be loaded in. You can wait for them to load in before jumping down and gliding towards the moblin. Make sure to face your camera left so that the Lizalfos aren't in view. This helps to keep them from noticing you. Okay. Pick up Walk a sword. If you move the stick too far forwards, you'll alert the moblin. Got it. I'd recommend not going for the sneak strike until after the cutscene is played. Wait until after the, the cutscene. So that you don't blurt. Pick up a razor shroom. Grab the razor shroom if you need it. Then throw sprint up the stairs so that you don't blurt the Lizalfos. I recommend grabbing the nature fang in the chest under the stairs if you aren't as comfortable with the boss rush, since you'll get a longer attack up timer if you come with it. So Wait, a what? I recommend grabbing the nature fang in the chest under the stairs. Nadro fang? If you aren't as comfortable with the boss rush, since you'll get a longer attack up timer if you come with it. Okay, we'll we'll do that one then. Yeah, we'll get Nadro's fang down there. Run up the stairs and throw the bomb in the corner, making sure Link is out of the Lizalfos' field of view. Get out of their field of view. The arrow route. This only loses about 20 seconds to the out of bounds route, and is a lot easier both in the movement in castle as well as the clammy fight. Okay, makes it easier. Run down the hallway and jump into the corner so that you only have to do one jump before you can clear the malice. Alternatively, you can shoot the eyeball on the far side of the malice to get rid of it, which loses a few seconds. I'll probably shoot it. Here to shoot this malice eye as you run towards the chest, but if you have fewer than three arrows, just bomb it instead. You can pick up this shield or the shield from the Lizalfos as a backup, though there is also an extra shield in the room with calamity. Interesting. Run up this. This is a max height wind bomb, so make sure to delay your square. Delay the square. The moblin probably won't be loaded in. Wait for it to load in and shoot fairly far right to distract it. Lie down, and when the moblin is looking around, land and go for the sneak strike. The arrow prompt will take priority over the sneak strike prompt, so don't worry if you can't see it. If you're close enough, you will be able to sneak strike. Also, if you physically touch the moblin before the sneak strike, it will alert it, so don't get too close. Okay. At this point, you want to have at least seven arrows, so that blades go smoothly. So if you're one short, you can break the pots in the corner and grab the one up. Seven arrows, so blades go smoothly. There. From here, you want to once again do a max eight wind bomb. Look up or down to not get live stops. You can wind bomb from the other side of the bridge, which makes it more lenient since you don't even. Okay, you need to learn this need setup. For wind blade skip, I recommend learning demon setup, which is the one I'm using in this video. I'll link something in the description that goes over how to do it. Okay. So figure out how to do it. Water blade gives you the lunge attack. Now just position yourself in between the arm and the body and spin until the phase is ended. Pretty easy spin. We'll launch water blade away from the throne. Otherwise, it gets stuck
You can get a headshot here as Waterblight gets up, but the timing is fairly tight, so you can just get the headshot after knocking Waterblight down again with two more headshots. Okay. Easy. Phase one, immediately walk forward and start a spin attack. Get three hits and then slam. Switch to the Royal Guard's Claymore, and here you can either do three or four spin hits before slamming. If you get four, the slam will end the phase. But you have to be really conscious of your stamina, so you can also just do three spin hits and then end it with a jump attack. Okay. For phase two, place a bomb in the center of the room and then go stand in between. Go for double him towards Thunderblight and Fireblight as it starts to get up. The best. I'm learning as quickly as I can. Chance of getting one. Fireblight's the easiest one for sure, yeah. It's such a push over. Run towards Thunderblight and do two swings to break its shield. Jump cancel the second swing so that you can immediately go for double hits while Thunderblade is stunned. Okay. After slam, go for some more hits, and then finish the phase by throwing the Claymore. If you miss some hits with the Claymore or it broke early, you can just throw the Boomerang until the phase ends. Throw the Boomerang until the phase ends. Cycle from when you first break its shield, so if you messed up first phase, the second phase might be weird. Okay. After you hear the fourth pillar fall, you can throw the Boomerang and break Thunderblade's shield. One. You don't have enough arrows here, you can just throw the Boomerang again to knock Thunderblade down. If you did everything right, getting four hits with the Boomerang should end up breaking Thunderblade's shield as soon as it respawns. This lets you spin to win with the edge of duality and move on to Calamity. Okay. At the start of Calamity, fire off six ancient arrows. After the first one, Calamity's head should be in the same spot, so getting the rest of the headshots should be pretty easy. One, two, this, three, you four, four five, five, six, okay. You hit what? That just takes a quarter of its health out? Which makes the number of bomb arrow headshots a lot more lenient, so I recommend doing it when you're starting out. Okay. While heading over to the bomb arrows, make sure you get as far away as possible, as quickly as possible, so that you force Calamity to shoot a laser. This will make Calamity's movement a lot more predictable. Fire off bomb arrows while moving towards the little claymore. Once you pick up the claymore, you need to carry the next laser. Then once you carry the laser, carry the laser, the and then slam. If this doesn't end the phase, throw the claymore at Calamity. And if that doesn't end the phase, you can use the boomerang for the last few hits. Okay. If you did the first phase well, Calamity will either give you a laser or attack you, and then give you a laser right after. If you get the laser, parry it and start the stun lock. If you don't, uh, wait for Calamity to start attacking you, and then quickly run to the edge of the room so that Calamity will be forced to the laser. Then just parry it and start the stun lock. You'll want to do two hits with the edge of duality, and then spin until Calamity's spear arm goes into the ground. Throw the edge of duality, and then continue to spin with the royal claymore until you finish off Calamity. Okay. This section is all about managing your stamina and making sure to slam if the spear goes. Yeah, it seems like really difficult to manage your stamina super well. Up, and this part is fairly easy. Just remember to always keep at least three quarters stamina before starting a spin. Start at least three quarters. Okay. Manipulate dark keys so that you don't end up losing a PB to something silly. Okay. Uh, in my 2456 analysis video, so I'll link the timestamp for that either on screen or down in the description. I went over the audio cues I use in my 2456 analysis. Audio video. cues. Anyway, one last thing I'll mention is that horse controls don't change based on the camera angle. So moving the left stick left will always make your horse turn to its left. Well, okay. Enough interest, I'll do just that. We know how to do it. That's good enough. I'm. I think I'm set. I'll keep this open on the side. But uh, let let's get into this now. Who use the bomb to get fast? I'm not gonna use a bomb to get fast strike. I thought you were. I thought. I thought you've already done Breath of the Wild speedruns. I've done other speedruns. I've never done this speedrun. If you beat my PB, I'll be sad. I'm not gonna beat your PB. I'm not gonna. No. I like I I don't don't expect anything good. This is, this is without any practice. I have done some of these tricks a while ago. But we're going to start. If you spin around three times before the run, it's good luck. One. Two. Three. Oh my god, now I'm just dizzy. I get motion sick so easy. No practice, no practice. We're just going to go for it. <clears throat> What's the difference between any percent and regular ones? I don't know what you mean by regular ones. I've done all shrines, which is you get everything, like most of the stuff. Spin the other way to counter it. I don't think that's how it works. Being dizzy helps with the shrine of resurrection clip. Okay. Not even change language. I need to know what items I'm getting. The language only saves like a few frames. Okay, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Time has started. Okay, let's go. Good. Good luck, thank you, Puffball. Appreciate it. Fravia, thanks for the bits, just elbow. Fluffy Cookie, Husky Lover Man, Go Sav, The Midnight, Rex, Mike, thank you for all the subs. Jelly, Delvin, Tumak, Miss G, thank you. Alright. I thought you know French? No, wait, it is in German. Wait, it is in German. Never mind. It's in German. BLS is difficult with Joy-Cons? No, it's not. It's way easier. Every trick is easier with Joy-Cons. I don't know what you're talking about. Voice lines in German, text in English. I have no idea why. I don't know why it's like that. All right, let's let's start by. Okay, I forgot what the jump button was. Oh, this is not gonna go well, is it? So now we're gonna try and clip through the wall. That's the goal now. I can't remember the exact setup for this. Maybe it was this. This. Here. Here. No. I... <laughs> Oh, I, 
right, all right. It would have been faster to watch the cutscene. Not yet. It's not faster to watch the cutscene yet. I can still, I can still save time here. I can still, sa I can still save, I can, I can still save some time here. We'll, we'll do it. Yep. Maybe it's, is, is this the angle? God, I can't remember the angle. First time joining live, welcome. Remember when I could do this in like 20 seconds? Those were the days, huh? Look up more? It doesn't affect it at all, I don't think. FOV outside two crosses. I don't know what that means. You need to walk in a different direction? Alright. Yeah, it was interesting. Oh, yeah. Link just going into the corner and grunting. I will get it. You usually put it between the left cross, like here. I usually just do muscle memory for this, so I kind of just forgot a setup. I guess I did. There we go. Uh, oh, wait, there's an optimal amount to, like, do this. We're through, though. We're through. Have you tried the clip button? I just tried it. It worked. Run, 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 Okay. Up. Up, 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 up. I don't know. Optimal hops. Crouch. Uncrouch. No, wait. There's the spot. Good. Okay, so we want to alert them as early as possible, apparently. Oh, I already took half heart of damage. I wonder if that's going to be an issue. Uh, I'm gonna save here. Oh, it auto saves for me. Thank you. Yeah, we want to whistle as early as possible so they notice me, and I'm gonna grab the peppers. And we need to grab one of the spears as well. So we'll go grab the spear. I guess we get to load the save. They took the spear. Why did it take two minutes? Because I've never practiced! This is what happens if you don't practice. You're bad. Dude, yoinked my spear, man. Alright, let's try this again. Hey, come here. Yeah, idiots. Maybe I'll grab the stuff after. He yoinked my shield! Oh my god, dude. I just want some freaking tools, dude. You're doing great, honey. Thanks. Uh, don't call me- wait. Oh, you didn't say honey, you said maybe. I li it sounds more patronizing if you say honey, though. You should say honey. Patronize me. <laughs> don't- don't grab that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna save, and I'm just gonna reload to pick up that stuff. Because I can't hit them. I don't have any weapons. Because I think if I reload here, they won't have weapons, and I'll just be able to go and yoink the spear. Boop. There we go. And now we can run back this way, grab our peppers for extra food. I don't know what I'm going to need this extra food for, but, like, it loses two seconds. I don't care. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not going to use the sh shield slide, because it takes too much shield stamina, and I'm probably going to have trouble clipping. Oh, they do, they do be chasing me, though. Okay. Link. Link. Optimal movement. TBH. Oh, yeah. Link. Optimal. Eat the shrimp for the half heart. I don't think I need it. I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Oh, Shikerstein device. Of course. I hope Link's learn how to throw a punch. Yeah, when can we melee attack, dude? Okay. So, what they do here is they jump up here. They land like that on their shield, I guess. And then they clip through. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, no, they... I don't know how he's hearing me. I made it through! Let's go! Okay. I clipped through. That's not too bad. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. I'm gonna save and hope that the Boko doesn't hear me. Eh. Arrows. Give me arrows. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Here we go. Oh, wait, how do you... 
How do you BLSS again? That's not right. Uh. Oh wait, did that reset my skew? Did doing that shield jump reset my skew? I can't remember. How how do you bow smuggle slide thing again? You want you know equip the shield. Uh. No, it didn't. Oh, yo, Onyx here. Okay, Onyx. I uh, wait. I'm gonna VIP you for today, Onyx, because you were you were in the BTT. I trust you. Is that okay? I, I just I just want to have someone I can trust in chat that I know knows what they're talking about. Okay, so it's uh, how did he hear me, bro? I guess okay. I'm just gonna VIP you for today because I can trust your stuff. How do you do this again? So you do the thing and then you pick it up. <clears throat> I can't remember how to. I can't remember how to do the the BLSS. Uh. I only need this for uh, doing that. So let's just get rid of him. Okay. It's uh. Right, right. I remember now. I remember now. It's uh. Help. Oh, that's not right. Help. Nope. I usually have a shield equipped. I go boom, boom, boom. Not quite. I can't remember the timing. Oh, there we go. And then you go um, like this. And then you unequip the shield. And then do that. There you go. Okay. And then they did uh, this. And then that, apparently. Yikes. Hold jump and sprint. Yeah, that's not... You, you gotta jump onto a ledge. I know, how to, I know how to do the rest of it. Gotta get rid of this little dude here. Yeah, I know. I know the let. Like I know how to do BLSS. It's just, I, you know, what if what I did? I just walked at the ledge over there. Okay. I need to remember the timing for this. It's because the timing. It's like once you get it, you'll like never mess it up. But I just lost it. You'll need the spear later. Don't use it. No, I won't. I need to hit literally nothing with this spear. It just as long as it doesn't break. There we go. Damn it. There we go. What if I just... Okay. No! Damn it. We'll try that again. <laughs> Aim the bow at the ledge and then walk towards it and jump while still holding ZR, holding B in the air. How did, what the heck? Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm not. I'm not like a, a completely ignorant. You was safe with the pot in hand. Oh, honey. No, faster. Faster. No. There we go. Okay. Uh, that didn't work. Uh-huh. Ah! Ah! Oh, uh, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. We'll step up here. Frick it. To bombs! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! To bombs! Uh...
Okay, we made it to bumps. Uh, then there, there, and then there. Nope, not quite. Let's try that again. And we're in. Woo! Okay, clips are easy. I know how to do clips. It's just I'm not used to wiggle bombs. Okay, uh... Very... That's one of your least favorite clips. Looks very unsatisfying. Yeah. Dr. Dreaded, thanks for the six months. MCW. R. Dilly. Blue Chis, Butter the Grand. The Twelve Man Nation, Kevin. I become one death. Or I become death. Thank you. What is skew? Uh, when you land on your shield, it saves the angle, and then it, like, loads that angle for, like, a moment, and then the game realizes, Wait a minute, we shouldn't be at that angle, and then fl flicks you back. And during that flick, you can go through walls. <sighs> okay. Uh... I'm just gonna do my old setup. That I used. I thought I got rid of that. What the heck? Did I not get rid of the whole mess? I thought I got rid of the mess. Nope. This button. Boom. Cause yeah, that should send me. I'm just gonna have a snack really quick. I need to eat one more snack. Frick. You got rid of skew, not ragdoll state? How do you fix ragdoll state? That's something I've never learned how to do. Because the first one always fails. Bombing yourself? Is that it? It's the only way. Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna do that. Oh, I'm bad. I'm so bad. I'm trash. Da -da 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 -da. I missed the jump button. I've been playing too much Elden Ring. The jump button is not the same. This is so embarrassing. I unequipped it, bro. I'm reloading the shrine. I don't care. No dying, no dying. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, good. Okay, let's actually do it properly this time. Hey. There we go. There we go. Uh, the world record, that, that run that we just watched, did this in less than three minutes, by the way. <clears throat> oh, heck. Alright, alright. There are way more runners in chat that are more competent. Okay, Onyx. Who should I trust? PB. Why, why are people using the PB command? This is my first run. I don't have a PB. I've never done one. Does the, <laughs> the PB command is for Minecraft? I don't have a PB. Why are P what? What's your best time? It's lit. The title says first run. Come on. You have more brain cells than this. I believe in you. You can use it. No man is five head, and Koroks is a god. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I think it's two one one two. Is that what this guy, or is that is optimal? Koroks, the real Norman. The real no man. Okay. It can't be. Thanks for the prime as well. No splits? No. My, we're not going to have splits for my first, very first. Well, we can, we'll make splits after this run's done. People, we can write them down. So you're on PvP right now? Yep. No man Tommy is a great teacher. Okay, Smithic. Perfect. No, I don't want to talk to you, bro. Go away. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, they climbed up here to, to... Oh, 
Oh, my mu with a bomb, my muscle memory? So good. <laughs> I just, I'm not used to the pot. Okay, let's... Make sure we get a consistent direction. We'll work on speed later. I haven't done these much. Uh, I don't think you take fall damage if you do this, right? I guess you're not going to take fall damage if you do that. Okay, so I remember if I did this, I did that, I think. And then I did... I think that gave me the skew when I was doing runs before. And then I stood with my foot on here and here, and then I think I clipped in if that setup is right. Yep. Okay. I remember the clips! Because the, these are the only things that are, like, useful in this run that I that I know how to do. Because the, the, we did these clips in a different run. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taka, 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 taka. The shield. Uh -huh. <laughs> Does the shape of the bomb matter for wiggling? Yeah, they send you at different angles, different speeds, I think. You did 100% run before? This means at times you're 80% PB? Well, I, I did all shrines faster, and I've done challenge runs faster. I think we've done a challenge run in like two hours. This may not be faster than my challenge runs, but I don't count those. Those weren't in the intention of going fast. Ever played Rocket League for like an afternoon once? It was like, okay. I am on PB pace right now, yes. Is it world record going to be over in like seven minutes? Yeah, the only difference is they've done a thousand runs and I've done zero. It's crazy how much that helps. Optimal lines, let's go. Ah. Alright, we do be running. Said make sure you unequip the shield early enough to not land on it so you keep your beautiful skew. So you can clip into the shrine later on. The next shrine. We're going in good. Drew Heritage. Thanks for the seven months to get ragged. Also get removing skew. Bomb yourself. Okay. We'll probably do that then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Drew. Siphon the Night. Thanks for the gift sub. Okay. Didn't he bomb himself here? Uh, he did bomb himself there, didn't he? Yeah, to get rid of Ragdoll. He may have. Yeah, wait, also, didn't earlier on, didn't he grab fish? No, no, no. Grabbing fish was right before the plateau. Or before the thing. Yeah. What's your thoughts on knowing the view count now? Uh, I don't know. I'd rather not know, but if it comes up, it's fine. Alright, there we go. We're back and forth. Um, so now, what do they do? I think they, yeah, they climbed up onto this. Listen to Koroks. Is the plat world record? What's the plateau world record? Okay, wait. Let me, pee, let me, let me peep, uh, VIP Koroks. Koroks, 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 where are you? I, I can't see your name. It's not standing out enough. V, VIP Koroks. There you go. All right. Uh huh. Uh, she. I need to turn. Oh, no! Oh, this is fine. Da, 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 da. No! Frick. Whatever. Get another set. Ah, well, we'll just run then. Okay, don't listen to anything I say. You're pretty awful at this game. I don't trust you. You have the world record in Plateau. No cell deprecation here. Sorry. Uh, please have a step up. Uh, this could work. This could work. <laughs> Come on. There uh, uh. uh, uh. we go. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was this tree. Or was it this tree? Which tree am I going? Uh, let's try this one. One, two, three. Okay. I need to save. <laughs> Oh, it's not this tree. Okay. It is the other tree. It is this one. <laughs> okay. You ever gonna do another Breath of the Wild Hundo? Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. What? Can someone explain the physics of the wiggle bomb? You wiggle and Link is like, ooh. I'm gonna go fast. Okay, so you go in that direction and apparently you just... 
Wait, which bomb did they place first? I gotta check. I just gotta check the video. Uh, uh bam. The other the hill. You stop here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For this bomb, you need to get max height. So wait one quarter stamina before placing the square bomb, and then detonate circle immediately. Okay. <sighs> wait, no, I did this in the wrong order. <laughs> okay, it's circle and then square at a quarter stamina, and then detonate circle instantly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Circle square, and then it, it's circle square. Square gives you the, the height. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, infinite load time. No, I'm too good for that. No shot. Yeah, circle square, circle, blah, blah, blah. I'm good. Yeah, just <laughs> instead of climbing the tree, just whistle. All right, here we go. Are you going to put this on the VOD channel? I don't know. Maybe maybe this just maybe I may edit this and put it into a reg regular video, right? Boom. Okay, uh. That did not work at all. Okay, I don't think I played the circle bomb fast enough. <clears throat> Look at where the light meets the shadow. Wait, this is not the right one. The light meets the shadow. What does that mean? You're, it's like a, you're like an old wizard giving me a hint. Look to where the light meets the shadow. The light meets the shadow. What the heck does it mean, bro? Uh-huh, okay. Boom, boom. No! Okay, a little bit further to the right. A little further to the right, I'll do it. It was right there. Now I know. Look to where the light meets the shadow, Link. That is where your boomy zoomy shall take you. <laughs> okay. Uh, here. Nailed it! Let's go! Okay. Uh, equip shield. And through the wall. Boop. Nope. And through the wall. Is, wait, is my skew wrong? Why is my skew in that direction? Is that... I think my skew is wrong. I'm bad. Lining up with the V. What the V? This V? Nope. Ah. I haven't done this in a bit. Is my skew big enough? No, it is 100% not. Is this the one where you aim for the bean? Maybe this is the one where you aim for the bean. That was close. This is... This is not enough skew either. I don't trust it. I don't trust it! Bottom of the bean. Aim for the bottom of the bean. Maybe? Did that... I think that's skew. That, that should work. Boom, boom. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. This is like the easiest one too. That's so embarrassing. This is like the easiest shrine. Weird. Wait. Why is my shield taking damage? I'm not hitting anything. Weird. Oh, I didn't save. Dang it. Okay. My skew's off. Skewing into shrines, it may be the most boring part, for sure. What is he trying to do? Climb it? No. Better. 
You'll see. You'll see. I guess we'll, we get to do this again because I didn't. It didn't auto save when I hit the shrine. A little cring. Uh, wait, where was I aiming again? I think I aimed there, and then boom. Oh, uh, that's not gonna work, is it? Maybe. No, I kept holding the bow by accident. Oops. Are there any BTBs around that boy in this run? I think they got rid of all the BTBs because they're too inconsistent. And they're lame. No one likes doing them. It's all wiggle bombs from here on out. Only wiggle bombers. It's slightly faster to do BTBs if you're like a, a machine, but no one's a machine. No more BTBs. The BTBs are b -b bad. Pl bro, just climb a tree. You have one job, sir. There we go. Alright, good. Aim towards... There, I think. Then we'll go... Wait a quarter. And then... Bam! Boop! Yeah, how's my skew? Bad. Let's try it again. Aim for... There. And then aim at... I don't know, that or something. And then go through. I didn't save. Let's hope I don't need the shield too much. This is about to break. My skew is off. Where should I aim for the skew? I think... I feel like I'm not getting skew in the right spot. Is, I, I'm pretty sure I used to aim at that triangle. Like, right there. That's where I used to aim. I don't think this will work. Maybe I aim further left, like like this. Skews are so hard. You just gotta remember each setup. Nintendo patched this. No, they didn't. You don't have skew? I do have skew. Okay, aim at the this, good. Hmm. Land fully on your shield to cure skill. Okay. Landed. Okay, there we go. Easy first try. Boom. 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 I'm doing it way too early. Okay, I don't think I have skew anymore. I do. I have so much. Is this too much? The view left side of the mini map should line up with the circle. But the right side or left side? Right side. Got it. Let's go! I like how someone in chat said they patched this when I've just done this in two other shrines. And the Temple of Time. You could have just used the door. Could I? Could I have just used the door? You think? Alright. You you try that. You know what? I'll, I'll try using the door. When I leave, I'll use the door. Sound good? I'll humor you. In 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 Cryonis, I'll use the door. Yeah. I'll, I'll just use the door for Cryonis. Very good idea. Very smart. Uh, this is fine. He won't slide. Bad cycle. <laughs> I didn't make the cycle. Yep. Oh no. Okay, this is fine. Is it a speedrun or a let's play? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Are you literate? Let's find out. You can answer that question. If you're literate, you know the answer. Yeah. 
Let's not be bad here. There we go. Finally. Yeah. I'm out of coffee. Alright, three. Almost free. I'm basically completely out of food, though, which sucks. I wanted snacks, bro. Good. Dads, thanks for the five months. How do you hear your coffee? Black, usually. I realize that if I put anything in it, I just chug it, and then my heart feels like it's going to explode. Like, if... If I, if I ever... Okay, it's saving, that's good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. I'm glad it auto-saved. If you need hats, if you need snacks, you can use the herbs next to my dishes after the run. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, there's a pile of them there. Black coffee every day. Oof. Open the door. No, no. We're opening the door to, to Cryonis. I forgot. You, you have to do uh, one, two, three, four, and then side hop to reset. Okay. Or five. That works, too. Nice. Stand for the forwards. I'm not used to doing it with this. I usually have a hammer and just go... I'm not used to the, the uh, this setup. Uh, you have less time, man, to, to line yourself up. Yo, frogs won. Just barely, dude. Nice. Good frogs. Froggers in chat. One, two, three, four, boom. Oh my god, this is so much harder with the freaking stick, dude. Ugh. Yo, what's up? Not too much. Frogs made so much, dude. Three, four, boom. I forgot to stand up. I just need to stand up. Ah, it's all my muscle. What's happening right now is I usually have the hammer, and so I have the muscle memory for a hammer, but it's completely different with a stick, and so I it's messing me up. That like that's the only thing that's going on right now is like. Like, I, I can't remember which buttons to press, because I never remember which button to press. My hands just do it. How do you... Okay, what... How do you undo a crouch? Because I remember I pressed a face button to undo a crouch. What did I do? Okay, I just pressed B. Got it. Are you good at this game? Dan the Man 747. Let's see. Do you have any messages in chat? I'm curious. Five messages. Ah, oh, you've been following since four days ago. Um, uh, I'm okay. I'm not good at any percent because I've never done it before, but I, I'd like to consider myself better than the average person at this game. Mostly because I have, um, there we go. Mostly because I have like a thousand hours in it. So, you know, that, that that's generally why I would like to think that. I might not be, but I'd like to think it. Just press L3. I don't like pressing L3 because I'm... I usually just press B. Dang you. Go away. What the heck? There we go. Okay. So we're going to go... Bro. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Oh no. Wait, can you pause during this? I can never remember. I don't think you can pause during one of these. Do I have any food? If I die, I'll just respawn here then. Okay. save here and then I'll probably just die going through but that's fine let's get the skew maybe before we die it'll probably work good that was intended and uh, now to the uh, genius oh my I'm such an idiot why don't I just use the door I could have just used the door you still had skew from stasis right yeah that's true you, you, you're right. All right, let's use the door. It's not working. Okay. That's too bad. Hey, what are you doing, Link? Stop it. Ah, ah. Is my skew all messed up? I think it's all messed up. Let's try this one more time. Podlet is badly damaged. Oh no. What am I going to do, chat? What am I ever going to do? Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Oh, I could have got in there. There we go, we're in. Your skew is weak because you still had stasis skew? Yeah, my skew is weak, but my clips are strong. <laughs> uh, so, how the heck? I don't understand. They... They boomy zoom me immediately after clipping in. How? Because in the, in the video, they clip in and then they do it. Why do they not have the ragdoll thing? The wall and top. Let's see one cryonis. You can mention it was another shield jump I did before starting the BLSS over cryo. This was once again to clear skews so that I could set see one cryonis. We do a quick fix. What's the quick fix? They just they it seems like they just do the same thing as landing on the shield. But they don't ragdoll state. This will kill me. I don't have any food. Okay, whatever. I'll just go through normal. It's a neutral shield jump unequipped. Why were telling why were people telling me to bomb myself then? When you when I could have just done that. Quick fix is just temporary. Huh. Interesting. Bombing is permanent, but quick fix is location specific. Oh. Okay, anyways, we're 40 minutes in. I've done the easy part of the run. Easy part's done. <sighs> e easy part of the run is finished. Let's go. This is so exciting. Just the, the easy part's all done. Uh, I might need a spare shield. I should have grabbed a spare shield from Stasis. <laughs> you mean the hard part, right? No, that's the easy part. That that's the easy part done cuz now it now the the combat starts where uh the combat is uh if I ever mess up any of the boss fights, we just have to restart from the beginning of the boss fights again. Cuz we do have to beat every boss in the game in a in in a row. <laughs> Uh -huh. What? Oh, dang it. Dang it. There we go. Okay, they said go to here. 
Whoa. Go, 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 go! Go! Okay, good. How's his first any percent run? I swear I could have seen his any percent content on his YouTube. Go log on my YouTube. Never done it. Never have. Okay, there we go. Huh! Yay! Didn't mean to keep that. My bad. Da, 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 da. Good. Don't go too fast. Yeah, yeah. Don't go too fast. Now we have the paraglider. 42 minutes in. Very slow. But it's because it's a new route. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I've done all shrines. I've done a 100% run before I knew speedrun tricks. But all shrines. I've done dog percent. Mm -hmm. Paraglider. Did you get the chompers of the leaf? No, you don't need to do that. That's on all shrines thing. <laughs> Wait, you've never done any percent? That's why the title says first any percent run. Okay, um, I'm gonna go down here and wait. I need to turn amiibo settings on. Uh, options. Where's where's the thing for amiibos? Use amiibo. Okay. <laughs> Mighty Carp is what we need, right? I'm just gonna grab everything, honestly. Oh my lord. This is gonna take like an extra minute or two, but I need it for my maybe my first run. Bomb arrows, that's pretty pog. Love that. Okay. Hello? Okay. Da -da -da -da. Good. Some extra arrows are always nice. And we'll go. Oh, don't land on me. Gross. Stupid trouts. More arrows? Yeah. Armored crap. Okay. This one now. This one now. Okay. Muddy Porgy. Muddy Poggy. <laughs> Cap of the wind. Sure, you know what? Let's put it on. Alright, so now we'll go to the castle. I'm gonna great eat some food. Never mind. No one's here. No one's here. No one's here. No one's here. No! Oh, you targeted him! Ah, 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 ah. Could be fine. I'm just gonna eat this. No, go away. Okay, there we go. Good. Ooh. Why is it windy, bro? My pot lid is badly damaged. You're telling me I just jumped on a bunch of walls for this? Place it down. Okay. You no, know, we'll just do this. Boom. Pick up. Place it down. Oh. Boom. Bam. Unequipped shield. Uh, step on this. Step on... Whoa, okay. That's not the right direction. Let's... Let's correct this, sir. Correct that. Come on. I forgot to save. Let's hope I don't die somehow on the way there. No boomy zoomies? Ah, oh, frick. Uh, did I hit the speed cap? I think I hit the speed cap. Let's hope it auto saved after I pick up all my good stuff. What happens if it doesn't wiggle? He doesn't move fast. Was that too fast? I believe that was a little bit too fast. Speed cap doesn't kill the BLS, just your speed. You drop the BLSS? Oh, okay. I'm bad. I'm bad. Sorry. I'm, I'm the bad one. Blame me for that. That was 100% me. I just, I went neutral in the stick. Why is the wind a thing? How do pro speedrunners avoid this? That's how 
I guess. Uh, boom. Never mind. Let's try that again. Okay, equip. Stop. Hey, there we go. Almost just gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna do the spin thing. Wiggle bomb. I really despise wiggle bombs because my thumbs get so sweaty that they start slipping off the stick every wiggle. I'm gonna have to get like an air conditioner pointed at my hands to do these runs. These pro cons, no, they destroy my hands. I have little baby hands that can't handle button presses. And so I need to use Joy Cons. To, uh, to not hurt my hands because it's less movement because the controller is smaller. Which door do we enter here? Oh, that one. Okay. Wait, how do you? Sur how am I supposed to survive this? I'm gonna die of fall damage, bro. Oh wait, that's why I forgot. I have this. No, no, no! Don't be loaded. <gasps> wait, did I make it? Wait, this isn't the right door. Wait, where's the door? You can use this one, it's just slower. Okay, we'll use this one. Oh, frick. I should save after this then. Galaxy Galaxy, thanks for the six months. Z V G O Z V Gojo V Z. Thanks. Alright, I'm gonna save here. Good. On the right of the left pillar. I don't know what that means, but okay. I swear if you trap me in, I'm gonna be pissed. Furious. Absolutely furious. Anyways, uh, don't look at me. Hey, what did I say? Why did he see me? Something was wrong was there. Okay, how's the run going? You can't whistle indoors? No, because that'll alert all the enemies. I don't want them to hear me. I need to sneak up on them. How many gifted for a blindfolded darker side run? Uh, if you personally give me 5,000 gifted subs, I'll try it. No, it 10,000 gifted subs. Why did he see me? Wait, what is going on? That never happened to the other run. Okay, I just realized my audio is delayed on my capture card. There we go. He's hearing my footsteps. Ah! Wait, I'm gonna wait. Okay, there we go. How does he, how does he hear, how, how do they avoid them? Because they just run over. Do they, do they jump from here? Or they jump from here? How is he hearing it? What the heck? Oh. Okay, he heard me again. This is extreme pain. Maybe because the ground isn't fully loaded? Maybe. I don't know. I have an idea. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna see me for sure. Shit. What if I just save and load here? What am I doing? One just went past him. Because we need his weapon. Am I crouching? It will not let me crouch. There we go. What? How did... Why can he hear me? Why did this not happen in the other one? I don't understand what's different. Huh? You were stepping from the small platform. You have to sneak slower. The moblin isn't loaded in the video? Frick. Okay, you know what? We're gonna save here so we don't have to walk down. Load that one. There we go. He's hearing- yeah, he's hearing my- It's my feet against the stone. I gotta put some shoes on. It's much quieter. There we go. Problem solved. I'm gonna grab another shield as well. Because, uh, I, mine is about to break. I think they use... Wait, this isn't a fang, is it? This is a shield, right? They said get the fang, if you need it. Where the hell is the fang? Go away. Thing is at the top of the stairs. Oh, underneath these. I see. Okay. Yeah, I'll 100% need this. Go away. You can't hear me. Lots of save reloads, because I don't know how to be stealthy. Ooh, arrow. Thanks. Good. What's that title? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna save here, because I might mess this up. What does the fang do? It'll give me, uh, attack bonus for longer. Well, that was easy. Oh, okay. Sure. Try this all boomerang. And then we need to cook. Uh, we cook the... I'm just gonna save really quick because I'm not sure. Um... <laughs> Do we have any hearty foods? Mighty Poggy? I think we use... One, two, three... Four, and then the sh the sh the sh fang? Yep. That is mighty poggy. Uh... Yeah, I think they go through here. Good. Uh... Did they go through this? Yeah, I think it was like a... Cool. Uh, they go up these, yeah, here, they shoot this, they miss, they, they make sure to miss one of the shots just to alert the thing. Yep. There's an eye there? Yeah, I don't need the eye. I did, apparently we're getting a knight's broadsword, okay. 
There's another shield. Don't really know if I need that. I'm just gonna pick up a bunch of extra stuff because you never. Oh, you know what? I totally thought it would break. How? How? Just break already, dude. I thought it was badly damaged. What happened to being badly damaged? Hello? <laughs> Never breaking pot lid. It had like a thousand more clips in it, bro. If you're on gravel or sand, it doesn't take damage. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm in the wrong- wait, what? Where'd they go from here? Where'd they go from here? Let me- let me check, let me check. Blah 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 blah. Claymore and headshot waterproof. Blah 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 blah. This is a max height wind bomb, this is a backup. Though there is also an extra shield in the room with- When you land- This is a max height wind bomb. Oh, okay, go left, got it. A max height wind bomb. Alright, boss. I'm totally a pro at max height boom bombs. I'm gonna go. Don't mind me. Just almost dying. And. Nailed it. Almost. Okay, aim further left. Got it. <laughs> Woo! You sure this is your first any percent? I'm literally watching the tutorial. Literally watching the tutorial. We're only a little behind world record pace, but, you know, I can make it work. We got this. Uh, food, 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 food. Sizzle fin, because I'm going so fast. I'm oh, on fire right now. Okay, no, we're gonna... That's not... Stop, hey, stop it. <sighs> Thank you for the five subs, Nazarick. Stop. Ah. Uh, think it'll work? Is it even... Is this... Frick. We gotta try it again. Ah! Ah! Yo, thanks. And yo, Jaw Gang got one. Jaw Gang. You need a pump glider? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Pump the glider. You can climb up the side. Yeah. Okay. I need to just get this get out of the way. Shoot to the right. And then you kill him there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's not mess around anymore. I hate that. What if I, can I do it on. This ledge is annoying because it doesn't have ledge protection. Ooh, okay. Don't look at me. Thank you. Was it there? I think they shot there. Thank you. Good! First try, of course. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we're on a guard bow. We'll grab our arrows again. Uh, and then I think we just launch ourselves up to the top. You run out. I need to check. <laughs> What's the video say? Lie down and win the middle of sneak strike. Also, uh -huh. if you physically touch the mobile before the sneak strike, it will alert it, so don't get too close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, you want to have at least seven arrows, so that blade goes smoothly. So if you... Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I needed to... I needed to climb up from the inside. You can climb up from the inside. I'm on pace for sub three hours. I think... I, I think there's a good chance we get sub two for my first run. Which isn't terrible, I guess. I'm just gonna save here, because there's like a 90% chance I die. Will you do more than one run today? Yeah, maybe we'll do a few. See if I have time. I, I just missed the button. I'm just gonna reload that. I just missed the the bomb button. I was about to get out of there. 
Whoo, you need to learn the Windblade setup to skip though? No, you just you just wall grab, you slide over, you drop down, you go right hop once, right hop once, you go back and then you swing and then you aim at a certain spot. Right? I just gotta remember the spot. Uh, I'm gonna watch the setup for this really quick. Uh, demon setup, wind, blight, skip. Uh, and side hop to the right. It's literally the limb cube video is right here. Flip. Okay. Stay consistent. So first we swing our weapon and okay. backflip. Backflip. We swing our weapon and side hop to the right. Okay. And then we swing our. Is this the wrong entrance? Wrong entrance. Limb doesn't do demon setup. That's older. Ah, frick. Wait, it's not this. Yeah, it's the other entrance over here. Don't forget to double bomb fire blade. Ah, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon because there's rubble here. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Um. Demon setup. It's it's not, bro. Demon's got to work on his. His, his, his ta tags. Thank you for the Twitch clip. Okay, it's uh, grab, go left, swing, go right, go right, backflip, left side. What do they aim at? Corner. Okay. Got it. Okay, so they do this, they do this, um, I think runs all the way left, let me just see this again, okay, R walk all the way left, swing, right hop, so walk all the way left, and then, Here, swing back flip, swing left hop, and then now you aim. We'll save in this exact position. Good. You need to do them consecutively, you have to do them fast. All right. I feel like it worked. I feel like that first hop sucked. Go into the corner first. Go into the corner. We'll try that. That one felt good. They aim right. There. You hold forwards. You skip this first one. And then... Cross our fingers. Oh! We got it. Pog. Okay. How do you kill Water Blight? <laughs> what do you do to kill Water Blight? We skipped Wind Blight first try. Break the box in the corner and grab the one that's okay. and headshot Water Blight twice. Big Water because Blight. Because you have to get everything. It will learn and get before you restart. It takes time, but this becomes really consistent once you figure out how to do it. Yeah, yeah, okay. After Windblade dies, we'll be starting Water Blade. Walk forward slightly and get two hits in with the Edge of Duality. Two hits? Edge, enter the inner edge of Duality. 
circle texture on the ground so that water blade gives you the lunge attack. Now just position yourself in between the arm and the body. Stay outside of the circle so it gives the lunge attack. Stay in between the arm and the body. And then spin. Okay. Great. Good lunge attack. I think I'm dead. I just got to the stream. How does it save time? It literally skips an entire boss fight. I don't know how much... You just you see that the boss was just skipped. I don't know what to tell you. This will take a few tries. Oh, it doesn't save the positioning, dude. Come on. Okay. Boom. Oh, stop. Stop. Need to be outside the first ring from the first attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that, but I just wasn't able to. Why are you not side hopping? Bro. Stop, stop. Okay, that was not side. Buffer harder. I've been playing too much Elden Ring. when it turns right here it dead like died like a million times it's so funny okay i'm gonna skip this pause immediately uh-huh Okay, what's next? Switch to the well claymore and headshot water bite twice. If it goes towards the ground, you should position yourself such that the second headshot will launch water bite away from the ground. Alright, got it. Uh, switch to the royal claymore. If it goes towards the throne, which it did, position yourself so it doesn't. <laughs> Towards the throne. Otherwise, you get stuck up there. Okay. Then what? Timing is fairly tight, so you can just get the headshot after knocking water light down again. S with two more headshots. Okay. Spin then. One, two, three, four. Oh, hit that. Okay, it'll go here then. And then they shoot it. One. Oh, I missed. Get three hits and then slam. Switch to the right one. Okay. Royal Claymore, start a spin attack. Just run forward, spin attack. Got it. Let's go. That is not a spin attack. That's not a spin attack, bro. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. He didn't do a spin attack. I'm pissed. Good enough. Slam. Switch to the Royal Guards Claymore. Oh wait, switch to the Royal Guards Claymore. Uh oh. If you get three before spin, slam it. If you get four, the slam will end phase. But you have to be really conscious of your stand up. My durability is gonna be low, yeah. And then end it with pitch on That'll be an issue. Well, we'll see if that's an issue. Your durability is gonna be low for Thunder Blight. For phase two, place a bomb to center the game. Fire Blight from the bomb. Wolf the bomb when it's behind fire blight. Either do three hits or two hits in the throw with the boomerang. Switch to the world. Two or three hits with the boomerang. Claymore. Go. Switch to the royal claymore. 
I'm gonna use this. Never mind. Hello? For double hits, targeting fire blade as it starts to get up. Best chance of getting one. Double hits as it starts to get up. Uh. They don't give me any backup strats. We're gonna just smack them with the knight's broadsword. There we go. Okay. Run towards Thunderblight. Two swings to break the shield. Here we go. Be great if I... Okay. One. Two. Don't cancel the second swing so you can immediately go for double hits. Oh, yeah. I missed that part. I didn't... I'm not getting double hits here. Okay. Whatever. I'll just... I'll just do this. We'll just do this. <laughs> After the slam, put some more hits and then finish the phase by throwing the claymore. Throw, finish it by throwing the claymore. Got it. That is not enough. Okay, fair. Armored poggies. Yikes. Come here. Thunderblade is the worst. I just wasn't ready for it. Come here. Okay. If you miss some hits with the Claymore or broke early, just throw the boomerang until the phase ends. Throw the boomerang until the phase ends. Thunderblade is on the cycle. You the so if you mess up your phase, the second phase might be weird. <laughs> Whoops. You hear the fourth pillar fall. Um, you can throw the boomerang and break Thunderblade's shield. Okay. If you don't have enough arrows here, you can just throw the boomerang again to knock Thunderblade down. Yeah. If you did everything right, getting four hits with the boomerang should end up breaking Thunderblade's shield. Focus. Okay. Spin to the response. Let's see you spin to win with the edge of duality and move on. Edge of duality, spin to win. Got it. Damn you. Okay, spin to win, edge of duality. Or no, wait. We do this, no breaks? Wait, what? Why did it get up? Get back down. That works, I guess. Want to claim it. It's because you messed up phase one. Fire off 16 arrows. After the first one, Calamity's head should be in the same spot. Okay, after the first one, do you use Amiibo? Yeah. After this, you can either do a flurry rush or run straight to the bomb arrows. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Blah, 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 blah. Makes the number of bomb arrow headshots a lot more lenient. Flurry so doing it when you're starting out. Okay. Heading over to the bomb arrows, make sure you get as far away as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possible, so that you force Calamity to shoot a laser. This will make Calamity's movement a lot more predictable. Fire off bomb arrows while moving towards the Royal Claymore. Once you pick up the Claymore, you need to pay the next laser. Then once you pay the laser, it's just six hits with the Royal Guard's Claymore and then a slam. Oh, I need the Claymore, don't I? Parry whatever comes. Uh, wait, where is the Royal Guard's Claymore? There it is, okay. Uh, that's not right. You know what? Ah, uh, that was not a parry. Get down, get, get down here. Get down. Fall. Fall. There we go. Laser me? I should have gotten far away. Damn it. We'll just hit him with the boomerang, I guess. Start phase two. Never mind. 
Never mind, we start the whole thing over again. This sudden end phase, throw the claymore and flame it. Flaming it. Bring and hit a quarter beef to claymore and headshot water blight twice. If it goes towards the throne, make sure to position yourself such that this okay. water blight away from the throne. Otherwise, it gets stuck right there. Then do three spin hits and then slam with the claymore. You three headshot here as water blight gets up, but the timing is fairly tight. So One, you two, three. And knock water blight down again with two more headshots. Okay. You got this? Oh, 100%. It's my first run. For five blight phase one, immediately walk forward and start a spin attack. Get three hits in the With the claymore. Got it. And... Here... That might work? We'll see. Time to find out. And then I can equip the claymore as well, and then run forwards. We'll see. We'll see if that works. <clears throat> okay, I think that'll work. Because he did the initial little... If he does the one bomb there, it should be good. I feel like. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, we do two hits, but make sure to stay out of the circle. Start a spin. Hit the hand, apparently. Next phase. That worked, I guess. For five phase one. Wrong weapon. Immediately walk it said claymore. Get three hits in the slam. Switch to the royal bucket. Was that the wrong weapon? Two more shots. And headshot here as water blood gets up, but the timing is fairly tight, so you can just get the headshot. Second headshot. Switch to himself in between the arm and the body, and spin until the phase is ended. Ah, oh, frick. Yeah, they're using the Royal Guard. The Royal Claymore and Headshot Water Blight. Twice. Wait. Until the phase is ended. They have Royal Guard Claymore is different than the Royal Claymore or whatever. I'll just use this for second phase then. Um... I could just use more arrows, probably. Okay. Yikes. I guess we can just shoot him again. Where's he going? Where's he go oh, he's gonna land on the throne. Okay, well. I hate you too then. What? Why does weapon use matter? It's just cycles and stuff are really important. We need to switch to the claymore immediately now. Apparently. Come on. Switch. the heck, Fireblight, bro? It's three hits and then slam, not five hits. Right. It's easy to forget. The amount of hits you matter a lot. You should make sure how many times to hit the bosses. Okay. Okay. Switch to the Royal Claymore and headshot Water Blight twice. Immediately walk forward and start spin attack. Get three hits and then slam. Switch to the Royal Guards Claymore. And here you can either do three or four spin hits before slamming. If you get four, the slam will end the phase. But you have to be really conscious of your stamina, so you can then go stand in between Fireblight and the bomb. Wolf the bomb when it's behind Fireblight, you can either do three hits or two hits in the throw with the boomerang. Switch to the Royal Claymore and go- Royal Claymore, okay. Royal... Royal Claymore. Put the bomb, stand in between. Do three hits with the Claymore. Switch to Royal Guards Claymore. That's not the Royal Guards Claymore. What? We're just gonna shoot him with arrows. Screw it. <laughs> Go for double hits. Targeting fireball and starts to get up. The best uh, this one, you immediately hit it with the Royal Guards Claymore. Which do I have equipped or with the with this? How do they do that? I guess they switch while it's dying. <laughs> 
I didn't swing twice. Excuse me. I want to die. Keep attacking. Why does it only attack once, bro? Swings to break its shield. Jump cancel the second swing so that you can immediately go for double hits while Thunderblade is stunned. Yep. I didn't get didn't get any double hits, sir. Frick you. Uh, this is why I didn't do any percent. Is this stupid boss rush? You gotta learn like a million different things. I hate it. I hate it. to the second phase at least. No, oh, no. Nope. There we go. That gets me to the second phase. Demo... Demolinar? I don't know. Demolinar? It's the fourth. If you pay attention exactly what it says... I... Okay. We'll... We'll, we'll do that. Next run. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your little... One, two, three, four. Right. I have to shoot it. Uh oh, you stood on it, you idiot! Ah Where's my boomerang? What the heck? Don't stand on the enemy, bro. Ah! Okay, I gotta the boss rush is probably the hardest part of the run to learn. Yeah, you telling Simply me. You have to get everything right in one go, or you restart. It takes time, but this becomes really consistent once you figure out how to do it. Okay. After you see the guys, we'll be starting harder. All right, right. I need to like write this down. Walk forward slightly. A notepad. Notepad. Okay. You can get two hits in with the edge of duality. Two hit. The inner circle texture on the ground. To edge. Okay. Now, position yourself in between the arm and the body, and spin until phase. Two. Switch to the Royal Claymore and headshot Waterblade twice. If it goes towards the throne, make sure to position yourself such that the second headshot. Okay. Switch to the Royal Claymore between the arm and the body and spin until the phase. Spin between arm and body until phase ends. Okay. Switch to the Royal Claymore and headshot Waterblade twice. If it goes towards the throne, make sure to position yourself such that the second headshot will launch Waterblade away from the throne. Switch Otherwise, to it's Royal. Stuck. And do. Three spin oh. hits and then slam with the claymore. You can get a headshot here as Waterblade it gets up. Okay. And Switch to claymore. Three spin hits and then slam with the claymore. Shoot. You can get a headshot here as Waterblade gets up, but the timing is fairly tight. So One, two, three, boom. Bar. Okay. Shoot twice. Three spin, then slam. Okay. First stream. Love the videos. Four I'm glad you like it. Two more headshots. And then shoot them twice. Shoot to kill. All right. Fire, fire blade. Blade. Immediately walk forward and start spin attack. Get three hits and then slam. Fire blight. Spin. Slam. Switch to the world. Three hits. Slam. Guards play more. And here you can either do three or four spin hits before slamming. Guards. You get four. The slam one phase. And you then. Switch to the world. Guards play more. And here you can either do three or four spin hits before slamming. Three or four hits. Three to four hits. If you get. Then slam. Okay. I'm writing this down so I can just glance at it. Four. The slam one phase. But okay. you have to be really conscious of your stamina, so you could also just do three spin hits and then end it with a jump attack. Three spin hits, jump attack, got it. For phase two, place a bomb in the center of the room and then go stand in between Fireblight and the bomb. Wolf the bomb when it's behind Fireblight and either do three hits or two hits and a throw with the boomerang. Switch to the roll claim. Three, two or th three boomerang. 
More. Can go for double hits. Targeting fire. And Claymore. Fire blade. As it starts to get up, the best chance of getting up. Claymore spin double hits. Okay. All right. I'm just writing down the strats. Immediately run towards Thunderblade and do two swings to break its shield. Jump. Break sh shield. Cancel the second swing so that you can immediately go for double. Break shield and then jump cancel. Jump cancel. Hits while Thunderblade is stunned. Double hit. Spin. Double hits. After the slam, go and do two swings to break the shield. Jump cancel the second swing so that you can immediately go for double hits while Thunderblade is stunned. After the slam, spin double hits. Slam on third spin. Go for some more hits and then finish the phase by throwing. Then more double hits. The claymore. If you miss some hits with. Throw claymore. Okay. The claymore or it broke early, you can just throw the boomerang until the phase ends. If that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, throw. The timer is running. Well, yeah, I'm in the middle of a run. Think I can just pause the timer in the middle of a run? First break its shield. So if you messed up first phase, the second phase might be weird. After you hear the fourth pillar fall, you can throw the boomerang and break Thunderblade's shield. If you don't have enough arrows here, you can just throw the boomerang again to knock Thunderblade down. If you did everything right, getting four hits with the boomerang should end up. If you did everything right, doing four hits with the boomerang, breaking Thunderblade's shield as soon as it respawns. Okay, uh. Hit with boomerang till breaks. Bonds. This lets you spin to win with the edge duality and move on to. Then spin with edge. Spin with edge. Calamity. At the start of Calamity, fire off six ancient arrows. After the first one. Okay, and that's it. Alright, alright, I wrote it down. Ancient arrows. Bomb arrows, more claymore. Okay. All right, here we go. Doing this now will save me so much time once it's... Yeah, jump attack. Cool. Good. At Easter, thanks for the prime. Here we go, check this out. We're gonna go boom. That was not a swing. Come on. Hey, I, I, I. Here, we're gonna go a little low. Good. We're gonna eat the food. We're gonna equip the Royal Claymore, I think. No, Edge. Edge of Duality. Okay, and then we're gonna walk forwards and we're gonna go bop! And Windblade dies. Because Edge of Duality, that's just slower. Pretty sure you only need one swing. Fourth Dono Wall. Wait, did I miss a bunch of stuff? Thanks for whatever you donated, but I don't see it in my notifications. Alright, let's hope it dies. He's dead. That was slightly off. Okay. We're gonna run in now. We're gonna go two hits, two hits, two hits. We're gonna go. Boom! Boom! That's not the right thing. Okay, what is this? Uh, Three hit slam? Okay, well, yeah. Uh, spin between body and arm until the phase ends. Okay, stay here so it lunges. There we go. And then you can do this. Okay, good. Uh, now we need to switch to the claymore and shoot twice. All right. Third long time resubs. Thank you. Yeah, 16 months, 18 months, Mr. Kuno, Superfire, 24 months, Darth, 25 months. Oh my, you're right, actually. Never mind. Alright, uh, switch to the regular Claymore. Is it going? Okay, that's good. One, two, and then three spins to slam. Oh, that didn't hit at all. Okay. Let's, let's try that one more time now. Oh, frick. No, 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 no. Frick. Stop it. There it is. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, wait. One, two, three, slam! There we go, good. Uh, wait, 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 what, what do we do to here? S spin three times and then slam. One, two, three, slam! And then what? And then switch to the guards? Three to four hits and then slam. One, two, three, slam! Never mind. Good, on to the next phase. Okay. Perfect. You fractured your wrist Monday. Heck, that sucks. Wrist fractures suck because it casts up your whole hand. Alright. He foregore. What did I forget? I didn't forget anything. Uh, bomb, and then we do two to three hits with the boomerang, apparently. Alright, suck my bomb. Frick. And then we claim more spin. Going for double hits. Okay, didn't quite work. Oh. Okay, just that. Just that. You're, you're good. You're done. Alright, so now we have to run directly forwards and smack it twice. Okay, and I jumped to cancel. Uh, and we spin going for double hit. Okay. Uh, I broke shield, but it didn't work. Slam on the third spin. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do I do now? I guess that worked. Uh, but wait, no, I need the boomerang out. Okay. Okay, boomerang until it breaks, then we spin with the edge of duality. Good, here we go. Using extra shots during blight screws you over for calamity, the bow breaks way too early. Oh, you know what? You're right. That's true. Didn't even consider that. Ah, whatever. Uh, okay. So, we wait. Two. One. Four. Pick up the boomerang. Shoot him with the bow. Okay, this is bad. Wait, why did he not fall? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. My bow's about to break. Okay. Why is the boomer right now broken yet? Uh, okay. That works, I guess. Sure. Wait, did my bow break? Did my good bow break? Or... Oh, it's about to. Yep. That's probably pretty bad, isn't it? Yep. Okay, well... Um... Well, I'm pretty sure there's a royal guard bow somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure on the edge of the arena there's a royal guard bow. Or not a royal, just a, a regular bow. Can you walk past it? No, that was a sword. Here's the bow. Doesn't 
Pretty sure if I was close to a wall there. I'm so bad at headshots, bro. Yo. Alright, so now, yeah, they just said go for it. Oh, really? Okay, we'll, we'll connect with Harry, I guess, whatever they send at me. Parried a little late there. At least we're getting good practice with the blights. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna do the setup with the edge of the world. That's not right. Here we go. Nice shirt. Thanks. It's my mom's merch. I tried the setup with the edge. Uh huh. We'll try it and see. We'll see if it works. Yeah, I can skip this one. Uh, edge for the first phase. Okay. Good. I can do it. I hope. So. Uh oh. I think I might have messed it up. Yep. I don't know what I did wrong there, but it did not work. <clears throat> Is this game nothing but bosses? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that one didn't work. That last one didn't work. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. That last jump, for whatever reason. There we go. Ah, I got it there. It's pretty precise. Okay. That's the wrong spot? Wait, what? I'm aiming at the wrong spot? Oh. Oops. No wonder I'm getting it wrong. Huh. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. No big deal. Rip in peace. I'm hungry, man. I'm so hungry. Right there? Hopefully that'll work. Gaming? Alright. Get one? Yeah, okay, we got it. What? No, I didn't. Never mind. Okay, which- did I aim too far right on that one? Are you good? I may have aimed slightly high. Okay, good to know. Hard to tell. Yeah, it's so, it's... I, th I feel like this one, you kind of just got to learn where you can and can't shoot. It's this one just you, you get with experience. We'll try shooting a little bit lower this time, just to see. I shot a little bit lower that time. 
Tell me how this trick kills Windblade. It freezes the arrow when Windblade is spawning. If the cutscene freezes it in the air. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. No, it did not work. Okay, I shot lower that time. I think I need to shoot more left then. It seems like I need to shoot more left than that. Because I'm shooting slightly further right. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting this. Sag, that's okay. That's okay. This first run, the, the blights are actually not as bad as I thought they would be. Like, the, the, these strats are actually, I feel like once you get good at them, it, it will be pretty consistent. Okay. I'm gonna shoot slightly further left, like that. Try it. What merch are you wearing? It's my mom's merch. <sighs> Except Thunderblade? Yeah, I mean, this is this is a tricky strat. He's actually going to try out the 80% route? Maybe. Back from dinner, how's the learning gone? Good. I, uh, I got the Ganon a few times. Hey, there we go. No. What am I doing wrong now? I don't know what I'm doing wrong anymore. Because I feel like I shot... Wait, left. But now wind blight skip is not working? Is it just really that precise? You just gotta hit a tiny little dot? How much else does that have? Let me look at the setup they use one more time. Calamity's head should figure out how to do it. The hardest part of the run to learn. From demon setup, which is the one I'm You can move on from the other side of the bridge, which makes it more lenient since you don't even need to clear the route. For wind blight skip, I recommend learning demons. Up, which is the one I'm using in this video. Bump on the other side of the bridge, which makes... Bro... No! Uh, I accidentally clicked off. Frick. Body. He uploaded in 720p. You can't even see the visual cue. Video. Pulling something in the description makes it more lenient since you don't even need to clear the route. I recommend... Learning... Demon... Set up... Which is the one I... I think he's shooting for the right. Have to be run on native hardware? I, I, yeah, I guess. Did I eat food? Did I remember to eat food there? That's it won't work. Yeah, it's not to get any hits in, is it? That wasn't right at all. Okay. That said, it won't work for multiple reasons. <laughs> Of course, there's a trick. It's fairly lenient in the horizontal direction, but precise in the vertical. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go. Boom. Boom. Wait, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Have you done any percent pre pre BLSS? No, I, this is first to any percent run. This first one. Did I switch the edge? I don't know. What is going on? He was like flicking around a lot there. Please die, please die, 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 Ah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Okay. 
Now I switch to play more and shoot. Good. I'm starting to get this down. You did it? Yeah, I did the skip. But now we need to fight, fight five more bosses in a row. I think that flinching is the arrow moving and killing him. Yeah, yeah, that is it. That is right. Okay, we switch to the Claymore. We shoot him twice. Boom. Boom. Uh, you... Three spins and then slam. Three, slam. And then... Shoot to kill. One. Okay, I use the weaker bow to kill. Um, okay, so now we just run up and spin. Slam. Three, slam. No, wait, ah, oh, frick, I needed to use the royal guards. Damn it. Yeah, I need to use the... Okay, um, so that means I will need to use the Royal Guards Claymore for the second phase because I messed up the first phase a little bit. You have to switch weapons so often to get, like, optimal strats. It's tricky. Okay. Let's go for double hits. I think that'll be good enough. I can go for the Royal Claymore now. One, two, three, slam. Boom, boom. Hopefully that works. Uh, now we need to break the shield and then jump cancel and three spins for double. We need to go for double hits. One, two. One, two, three. Missed it. Dang it. I don't know what to do now. Like, maybe boomerang? Let's see. Spin double hits. Nice. Well done. Uh, uh-oh, that's a problem. I need to go get my boomerang back. Ah, uh, ah, uh. woo! God damn it. Woo! Come here. Uh, I mean, if the point is to break the Royal Goat's Claymore, I might as well just go for another. Come here. Come here. Hey, psst, 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 psst. Is he caught on the railing? Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. You know what? Screw it. I guess I'll just go for this. I'm supposed to break the claymore eventually. Throw it! Bro! Okay, boomerang on the fourth pillar, hit the boomerang till it breaks, and then spin with the edge of duality. Okay. <laughs> oh, Alright. Yeah, 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 come on. One, two, three, four. Boom. Why did that miss? What? What happened? Was I not close enough, I guess? I have no idea why that missed. That was funky, dude. Right, I need to save with the edge of duality here. No clue what happened there. Too 
That should work. We'll see. Can you save between the phases? No. No. It hid the shield. Whatever. Okay, we start with the edge. Two hits. And then you spin with those. Just barely. Oh my goodness. Just barely worked. Okay, so walk forwards. One, two. Um, um, um. Good. Uh, spin. Switch to the Claymore. Okay, switch to Claymore. Got it. Good. Sub count, it's on screen. There's a sub count. Uh, Bagsy, Superhawk, University of Ashman, C. George. Thanks for all the subs. I appreciate it. Switch to the Claymore. It's not the Guards Claymore. It's the Claymore. Yes. Uh, okay. Shoot twice. We're going to go one, two, spin three times, and then hit. Good. Now we just do two arrow shots, and we're free. Subs haven't updated all stream. Actually, I think you're right. Uh, I guess boomerang hits. Uh, you're right. They haven't. I forgot to open that up. It will update now. Might be a little bit lower now because I took a day off. Uh... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It'll update. Uh, okay, this one we have to spin in three hits with the Claymore. I'm going for two, maybe. Never mind, we're not even going to get the slam. Why did that not stun? Am I just at that exact amount of subs? No. Wait, why is it not updating? Oh, that's why. I didn't open up the right window. There you go. Now it'll update. Sorry about that. I threw it early? Okay. I thought, I thought like six pillars had fallen. You know what? Ice arrow. Traveler's bow. Get on the ground, dude. Uh, once he's on the ground, we need to use the Royal Guards Claymore, right? Uh, yes. Three and then slam. One, two, slam. No, don't throw it. Oh my god, I almost threw it. Okay. Okay, next phase. Bomb and boomerang. That's the what we gotta do here. Alright, good. This is gonna be endless. I don't know what you mean by endless. No. I it, like it's not gonna be endless. So, so we use the boomerang. Wait, wait, wait. I need to go back to my where's my notepad? Where's my notepad? I need my notes. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I'm shooting a little bit high. Perfect. Good to know. <clears throat> so yeah, we switch to a boomerang, two or three boomerang, and then claymore spin going for double hits. Okay, got it. Stand in between. Boom. One, two, three. Switch to the claymore. It's the clay... Spin, spin, oh my god. Cool. I can use the ice arrows. Okay. There we go. Why? Why? Uh... 
I guess that works. Okay. <laughs> Why did it attack me there? What the heck? Why do ice arrows do like no damage? I switched to my sh my bad bow. Okay, wait until you hear the fourth one go tonk. Got it. Okay, once you shoot it, uh, hit with boomerang until the boomerang breaks. Uh, okay. Screw it. Uh, now you switch to the edge, and you just spin. Don't get up. Get on the ground. I, I, I. That works, I guess. Okay. We practice the boss until you get them all in one go. Well, I, I have to get them all in one go. That's how you complete the run. So, yes, I will. I will be fighting the bosses until I complete them in one go. Because it's necessary. Yep, just slowly make your way over. Perfect. Alright, let's get to play more. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Woo! Okay, Royal Guard's bow broke. Now we need to parry. Or flurry rush, whatever you say. Uh, bomb arrows. I think we use the claymore now for the rest of it. I guess I could use the guards play more for a clear rush. That was way early. What am I doing? Okay, let's get him down now. Whoa, sir. If that hits me, I will die. Okay. Gonna laser me? Hey, there we go. Good. Phase, and now we just need to parry and go for the stun lock. <sighs> stun lock is scary because I just. It seems so difficult. Okay, shoot me, please. Thank you. And. done this enough before so I just don't know how it works hit him twice first yep there. that kills in one hit ah. Getting good practice with the blights, I guess. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go here. Might be a bit high, we'll see. Recommend using a shield on that attack. Running isn't fast enough. Oh, can you just shield it? You can shield that? Okay. Is this just still the first run? Yeah, I'm trying to defeat, defeat the blights, the boss fights. 
Yeah, okay, cool. Nailed that one. Good. You can see the... Yeah, you can really see the improvement each time I do it, for sure. Ah, oh, frick, that was too close. Alright. Ready. Play more after this, good. If you need tips, you should watch Player 5. Yeah, if you want to get good, just do what the world record does. Just do what the world record does. <sighs> but yeah, we watched, uh, we watched that run. The Player 5's how to get a sub-25. Easy. Uh, Royal Claymore, we shoot him in the forehead. One. Two. Uh, three, spin, and then slam. One, two, three, slam. And then two shots should KO it. One, two. Why did that... That would have been three hits then, huh. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna shoot him with this bow then, and I'm just gonna use one of my bomb arrows that should probably KO it. Uh, next one is... Uh, use the Claymore. And just spin three times. One, two, three, fall. And then... Switch to the guards. And then, again, one, two, three, slam. Hey! Okay, I did it right that time. Perfect. Is it world record like 15 minutes? Oh, honey, no. It's like 23 or something, 24 minutes, right? Wait, what is the world record? Because we just watched the BTT and it was 21, and it was a perfect run. Fast as humanly possible. It's 2427. There you go. 2427. Yeah, you're at two hours. Let's see your PB, Nathan. Let's see yours. All right, let's check the leaderboards. All right, what is Nathan Koo's PB? All right, Breath of the Wild. Here we go. Uh, Nathan... You guys can't hear that, but uh, it looks like you're not on the leaderboard, Nathan. That's really crazy. It's crazy how you have uh, you can't really back up what uh, what you're saying. Dang, Nathan, that sucks. It's kind of embarrassing, honestly. If Nathan was number three, he was getting a sub. If you have a better PB than me. You know, you can shit on me. That's fair. You're better than me. If you don't, nah. It's happened once where some I was like, well, what's your PB? And they were like, it's like it's like 30 minutes faster than yours. And I'm like, fair enough. Here's a free sub. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, What am I doing here? Two or three boomerangs. Okay. One, two, three. And I switch weapons to the Claymore. And we go for... No, spin! Spin, you idiot! Oh my lord. Okay, back up. Use a shitty bow. Just shoot him down. Bap. Bap. For the double hits. That's not gonna work for double hits. Uh, okay. Traveler's bow. Okay, good. Now we have the hard one. We're just gonna... Oh no, I missed! Ah! Damn it. What do you do here if you miss the first hit? What the heck do you do, bro? I think I'm just gonna... Boom. No, you can't even shield it. 
I guess we'll just do this. Because this will knock him down. Uh, but after that, what do we do? Spin, double hit, slam on the third spin. Spin, double hit, okay. Alright, well that did not work. Yep, totally, that's what I'm going for. Just use the scope. That was, uh, Elden Ring. I, I hit R3 because of Elden Ring. Kind of funny. Okay, uh, and that should be the... If that doesn't work, just start throwing boomerangs now. Ah! My boomerang got like a super boost. Eh. What the heck? Die. How? Bro. Not cool. Ouch. It just says throw a boomerang if you mess it up. It's not doing anything. It's- this is impossible. What the hell are you supposed to do? Huh? That was weird. Did- Did he- Headbutt my boomerang on the floor? I don't know what just happened there. I was looking away and he was- broke his shield. I think he ran into my floor boomerang. Yo, what's up, Alexander? Wait, no, wait, where, why is it not my inventory? Ooh. Okay, wait, what do we do? I think we hit him with the boomerang until it breaks. Or not. Nice. I'm glad we got all these extra fishies. Bum, bum, bum. Why is it not breaking? I don't understand. It just, it doesn't break. Like, it, it's supposed to break. Okay, just, no. The boomerang is not supposed to break? It says hit, hit him with the boomerang until it breaks! Oh, until the shield breaks! That's what they mean! Oh! Link. I didn't understand what he meant. He said, hit it until it breaks! I thought he was talking about the freaking boomerang! Oh, that makes so much more sense. That makes so much sense. Stop. Stop. Wait, did I pass it? I think I passed it. Oh. Usually you don't get hit by that. I'm getting better though. A hundred percent. I'm getting better. Is that all the target? Yeah. Link fucking dies, bro. Mm, too high. Too high. Too low. Too high. Just right. If you do more runs, are you going to do full runs of practice bit by bit? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. I, I think uh, I'm going to do full runs today. Maybe if I enjoy it, I'll do practice off stream. Yeah, this is the hardest part of the run. Once we once we learn this and get this down, it won't be as much of an issue. Please tell me that killed him. Yes, just barely. Just barely, let's go. I'm starting to get it though. I'm getting this down. You can stream this tomorrow? I'm not streaming tomorrow. Ah damn it. 
Gotta stay on the outside of the ring. There you go. And bop, and bop, and one more. Bop. Good. Is he playing Master Mode? Nah, Master Mode sucks, dude. Okay, switch to the Claymore. We shoot him twice. Did I stream Pokemon yesterday? No, I, I ended up taking the day off because I was really, I was just exhausted. I was very tired and I had to do a collab and a race with, with Prism and I didn't want to like, not have energy for that. Uh, switch to the, switch to the Claymore. Here. Okay, good. Run towards him. Boom. Boom. Spin three times. One, two, three. And then two shots from the bow should kill him. Thank you so long, bro. All right, again, let's see. Zorark Master 69. Let me open up the leaderboard. What's your PB, Zorark? What's your What's your PB? Speak. Tell me it. What's your PB? Three. Boom. Switch to this. Three. Boom. Uh. Okay, that was supposed to KO him. Eat it. I need to pick that back up. You don't have Breath of the Wild. Sounds about right. That sounds about right. He doesn't have Breath of the Wild. Boomerang, how many boomerang hits, right? Break, uh, two or three boomerang hits and then play more spin. <laughs> Sit down, sir. Sit down. Bah! Bah. Hit up. Ah. That's what I thought. Good. Uh, what do I do now? I think I hit him with the boomerang. Break shield, and then jump cancel. Oh, frick. Right. Uh, I've made a mistake. Okay, whatever. We'll just, we'll just do this. We'll just do this. We'll just do this. It's fine. This works, I guess. Yep, that works. Slower, but it obviously works. The thunder, thunder blight timing seems like it's the hardest. Are you gonna play Switch Sports? Oh, I should. I should. Wait, is that gonna be a clip? I don't think so. No. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! No! Ah! What the heck? Uh, hit him with the boomerang until the shield breaks. Why is he not shield attacking me? What the heck? Why does it, why, okay, why does that work differently? 
You already broke it. But he, he recovers it, and then you break it instantly again. Shut. Just block with shield. Don't speak unless you know what you're talking about. Block with a metal shield, bro. Block, what's, what's it against the electric boss? Come on. Let's use our brains now. You don't really know? I think it's just because I'm bad. I just need to get faster and not make any mistakes. Uh, wait, is that low? I think it's too late because I already paused, right? Nope, never mind. I just gotta shoot him better. You shoot another arrow in his head and it should be normal? Okay. Thank you. Good. I'm getting too close. I'm definitely getting too close. Yo, someone already chunky runky. Pug. Why is he shaking so much? Does that mean I messed it up? I think that means I messed it up. Maybe not? Never mind. Nailed it. Perfect. No problem. Oh my god, wait. I have a meeting at 6. I have to finish this in an hour and 10 minutes. That's too close. Frick, dude. I keep getting too close. What? My spacing is awful, bro. Pog. Alright, switch to play more. That spin was the best spin? That was the best spin? He's a meeting at 6 yet in an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, Royal Guards Claymore, good. Okay, that's a good position to be in. Stop. Stop. And then spin three times. Now apparently, just shoot him until he's dead. Shoot until dead. Wait. Alright, we're gonna do this. That'll work. Now we gotta do, just run up and spin again. One, two, three, boom. Switch to Royal Guards, claim more. I need to jump. One, two, three, four, smash. Yes! Yes, I did it! Okay! Whew! I'm getting so good! What are you moving your house? June 1st. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, switch to the boomerang. We're gonna smack him a few times with the boomerang. I believe he's in Vancouver. You believe wrong. Check the fact. I don't know why you thought Vancouver. Uh, Royal Guards Claymore? No, regular Claymore. Go for double hits. Shoot him the shitty bolt. Get him down. Bop. Bop. Okay. So, Thunderblade. Destroy shield, then jump to cancel. Go for double hits. One, two, three, slam. One, two. Uh, not quite. Better. Much better. Wow, that's so much faster if you don't screw it up. <laughs> I still messed it up a little bit, but it was actually decent. Okay, where's my... Where's my boomerang? No! Oh my god. Wait, what do we do? What do we do, who? 
Oh, I'm dropping frames. Uh, do we just... We, no, yeah, now we smack. Why? I didn't press the jump button. Shoot him again, shoot him again. Uh, okay. It's still kind of slow. <laughs> nice. Thanks for sharing. First message. Following since 21 minutes ago. First one calling me slow. Thanks. Make a better first impression, please. I'll let you try again. Uh, that's not going to work. So speedy? No, I'm not. Oh, dang! I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, do not get too close. That's not gonna work. I gotta go. What? Oh. Okay. Slow. Okay, I need to remember. Now I use the regular claymore. I gotta stop looking at my notes. I'm gonna start trying to... Insert it in my brain. Lots of primers. Am I missing all these primes? Yo, true, actually. Big Sushi, Arash, Billy. Thanks so much. For the... The primes. Okay, going over here. One, two. One, two, three. Boom. And then apparently I should just be able to finish it off with this royal bow. Don't go up there, dude. Not cool. Uh, if the boomerang never breaks, I guess I could just like start to finish stuff off with a boomerang as like a backup. That's what it seems like. Oh wait, but I need to. Royal now. Nice. I'm on fire, man. Don't do that to me. Okay, let's just knock him down with the shitty bow. Sit. That's not the shitty bow. That's just a wasted shot. Okay. Let's take a nap. It's nap time. I can't... Why did he not sit on the floor? Sit. Floor time. Bro. Okay. Now, we need to use the boomerang for a few hits, and then it's just play more spin. Uh, bomb. Yes. And then you do this. Okay. Boom, boom. Play more spin. I believe I'm supposed to be hitting him right now. All right, yeah, just I'll take the time lines, I guess. Bam, 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 bam. He's dead. Okay. Good. How do you feel about any percent? These boss fights are tough, dude. They're tricky. Okay. Gotta focus. One, two. One, two, three. Slam. What do I do? 
More double hits. Frick you! Uh, then throw the boomerang if I run out, I think I said. Wait, where's the boomerang? There it is. Stop. Ah! Where's my boomerang? Where'd it go? Where'd the boomerang go? Hello? Excuse me? How the heck did it get up there? Oh, oh. I guess I didn't want it. I gotta go up again. I just... How did you navigate all the way over there? Where is it? Great. I actually- where is it, dude? So. Yeah, I'm just gonna retry. I- tch. Boomerang just disappeared! Are we there yet? No! We're not there yet. Yeah, I'm thanks for the three months and warp. Thanks for the 29. Okay, we're gonna go. You said it was good to horizontally. That's a good height, so hopefully you're being honest about the horizontal thing. The boomerang did not boomerang, no. Designed to come back, but nope. No coming back. Oh my god, it was fidgeting. Pop. Dang. Okay, do not get too close. Damn it, I got too close. I don't know how to space that properly. Yo! Yo! More. Oh, you tricky. 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 Oh. Finish you off with regular arrows. Do not go over here. Perfect. Yes, that's what we want to see. Then. No, no, we're not. Because I need to have the Claymore ready for Fire Blight so I can do this. One, two, three, boom. And then we switch to the Guards Claymore. And we go two, three, boom. There you go. <clears throat> Perfect. I'm learning. You still on the first run? I did no practice. What did you expect? You know how hard this thing is? Uh, I think I switched to the regular. No, it's the boomerang. Boomerang and then regular claim one. Yeah. One, two, three, and then regular claim more. That. Ah. Go for double hits, though. Not quite. 
Um, I could probably just spin here to pick him up. Bop, bop, bop. Good. Shoot him in the forehead. This feels bad. Okay, we're gonna go two hits and then toss. Never mind. It'd be great if I could see. Just like, just charge me. There we go. Bop, 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 bop. Next phase, good. Have you seen Calamity get in yet? A bunch of times, yes. Uh, but he kills you in one hit, so. And I don't know how to do the fast thing yet. I'm working on it. Um. Why? What? What the hell? Why does he not do the same thing as in the tutorial? In the tutorial, he like sits there, recharges his shield, and then you, they just stun him again. But in mine, he raises up. And I don't know what's different. I don't know what I'm doing differently. It might be too high, but we're gonna see. It's because you're attacking too fast? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see that KOs. Okay. Too high. What's too high? I did it! It wasn't terrible. Okay. Wind Blight and Water Blight, I have started to get down pretty good. I'll have to watch and see, because they're clearly doing something differently. Mm, Claymore for... Uh... Three, and then slam. One, two, three... And then you shoot it with the bow to finish it off. Okay. Good. You're swinging too fast, like too early? Or what? Ah, uh, this is now gonna take significantly longer. I just forgot. Nice. That starts the next phase. 
I'm just attacking too early. You wait for him to get up. Like, you don't attack him when he's down. You wait for him to get up and then you start attacking. Is that what you guys are saying? Shoot him down again. The Zonk, thanks to the gate. Just die. There we go. Somebody primes today? Yeah, fuck. Okay, focus. One, two. Go for the double hits. One, two, three, smash. And then. More double hits and throw play more. I think I'm supposed to hit with the play more though. Play more broke. But yeah, if that doesn't work, then you gotta use the boomerang and just throw it apparently. Or just get destroyed. Never mind. It'd be great if I could look the correct way. Uh huh. Just throw the boomerang. I'm not gonna throw it, I'm just gonna smash it. Okay, there we go. Because the boomerang, like, never breaks and you don't need it. It, like, it, it lasts forever. The, st the, the endurance on this thing is wild. Throw boomerang, fourth pillar, and then you hit the boomerang until he breaks after he gets up. Okay. He's gonna regenerate his shield. And then. Switch to the good bow. Pick up the boomerang. Wait, apparently. Okay, that's not how you do it. Okay, uh, now we spin with the edge of duality. Alright, I guess that works. Kinda slow, but I'll get better as we practice. Sure, we'll go with him with the edge of duality, I guess. But I think we need to go in with the royal, because we're trying to break it. Yeah. Just equip a bomb. Fall down. Idiot. That was to me. I was the idiot. Sox fan, thanks for the five months, the tier one. I appreciate it. I, I am the idiot here, just to be clear. <sighs> I 
Might be too high, but I'm gonna try it. Just to find out. Shikari fan, thanks for the 22 months. Get smacked up, dude. Hold ZL, lock onto the head. Alright. Okay. Get two hits in and then start spinning. Okay, that was the best water blight. Okay, use the regular play more now. Finish him off with a bow. Let's do this. That works. Okay, take the sword out immediately and then spin. One, two, three, slam. One, two, three, slam. Okay. forwards and smack them as quickly as possible why did he do that it doesn't matter do we just do yeah if that doesn't do it you switch to this and toss until he's dead boomerang did not come back I get to get hit a few times as I'm going to pick up my boomerang. Wait, that's not my boomerang. It was blow. Oh, here, it's not. Okay. Whatever. We'll just do this. Boom, boom, boom. Good. You know, you can go up there. You can go even further than that, yeah. Boomerang, and then we do boomerang, and then we spin with the edge till it dies. Okay. Boomerang did not boomerang. Exactly. Okay. Why did it get up? Stop. Oh my god. I don't know why he's getting up instead of using a shield. But he is. We just gotta constantly, like, flurry rush, I guess. Okay, I'll parry. I'm crazy. What the heck, bro? Uh oh. 
everything's fine. Stupid. This is so stupid, dude. Thunderblight sucks. Ass. Where'd the sword go? Where'd the sword go? He's standing on my sword! Ah! I can't get the sword! There we go, okay. Uh, sure. Nightwisher, thanks for the prime. 